What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? Those are eight those almonds! Walk it down with these mangoes. Oh! Welcome, welcome. Drink some beer, man. Christ. Dude, we got a bunch of snacks in the back. Got crazy eight. snacks. Did you like it? Did you like the uh, knockoff burritos? The nacho burritos? No, I didn't even go for oh. those. Burritos? <laughs> hey, man, Soul Trader Joe's has. Guys, welcome, welcome to Crit uh, cr 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 Juice. There you go. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Uh, yeah. Say Crit Joe's. Welcome to Crit Juice. Where's the cranberry? cranberry. <laughs> what is this? It's a beer. Not. Uh, oh, not bad. It's not a beer. Uh, guys, we are playing through, once again, this is our, like, regular right. hidden meetup, guys. Wow, I'm yeah. so excited. Yeah. Uh, all right. Woo! A little D&D 5th edition with the original bad boys of Dungeons. Sure. Yeah. I'll make that yeah. title. Great. Uh, so I'm going to put these guys to the ringer. You guys are partway into this little dungeon. Tonight we're going to get you through this dungeon. Mm -hmm. There might be some surprises along the way. You might learn something. Oh, so I thought you would learn something, yeah. I don't want to learn anything. Is that that's not an option? It's not an option because okay. tonight, also, all the donations that we raise are going directly to uh, victims of Hurricane Harvey. Yeah. Uh, and that's, that's going to hands.org, which is a really great charitable organization. Nice. So anything you guys donate is going into that. So please uh, give if you can. They yeah. need your help. Give if you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you want to specify that some of your secret juice, you can. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, the rules aren't free, guys. <laughs> it like, all goes to the charity. I would know so. somebody wrote, okay, five to charity, but the rest of it needs to go to you. Chaotic <laughs> <laughs> evil. Don't do it. I'll go to charity. So I'm David. I'm the GM, as usual. Uh, but who, who's all these handsome folks at the table? I don't know. You guys want to? Um, okay. uh, you guys decide amongst yourselves. Uh, you guys. Yeah, this is just a. Hi, I'm Matt Cook. <laughs> I play yeah. Chancho Drift, Lightfoot Halfling Rogue, Assassin, Man of the Wild. Chancho Drift. Yeah. Okay, what's Chancho's hair look like right now? Chancho's hair is a mess. Uh, he's got a bunch of debris in it. Uh, it's like, it could be really beautiful, like curly light auburn, like Ooh. halfling hair, but he's not. never really cleaned it. A little it. Samwise Gamgee hair? Yeah, yeah, totally. But he's been in the, the muck and the blood, the mud and the blood. Has the his beer. hair ever looked good at any point in his life, or is it always just Yeah, like yeah, every now and then it's like, when he once he got in with these guys, and then like sometimes it's like, when you know when you see somebody and it's like, they've been at the beach all day, but their hair looks perfect. Yeah. Even <laughs> though it's like all sand and salt, it's like, He's had a lot of those days, ah, okay. but now as his adventuring has sort of picked up, there's been too much like blood and stuff that's just like, kind of like natural been, elements that will make him look good every once in a while. Yeah, he's a man of the forest. He's a nature boy. He's huh? good with like you know Reflect. that stuff, but mm. the blood and the the goblin shit has <laughs> really is, sort of messed up his look. For. Yeah. Okay. Does he have a little bit? You know, like how like uh, surfers and stuff will get that like sun bleached like on the tips. You know. Yeah, he's got some highlights in there. A little natural, natural <laughs> little na natural yeah, okay. tipping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's Chancho. Okay, now I don't know which way to go. Um, roll I, uh, Zordakiss. Hey. <laughs> I'm Daniel. I play Zordakiss. Uh, How's his hair? It's great. <laughs> um, it's real nice. It's good hair. He's a uh, sorcerer drow. Wait, hermit. seriously, no, it's great. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really, real it's always nice. really nice. digitated. Um, and he's uh, everyone's favorite psychopath. Um, he's a, we mentioned he's a drow. He's a drow, hermit, sorcerer, real, real, real creep. Creepy dude. And hanging out with these guys, for some reason, everyone tolerates him. Yeah. He loves him. Well, because honestly, we don't know. he's done some weird stuff. He's done some bad stuff, but nothing like... That they've like, seen you do. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah, That's true. Like, okay. they have no reason yet. <laughs> like, we all, in real life, hang out with Brian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? That's a great analogy. That's you guys have thing. never seen, really, the real <laughs> dark side of me. Tell them who you play. I'm a... Uh... <laughs> Got him. I play uh, Aguilar, uh, plant killer, or sight loser, maybe. Sight uh, loser. That's uh, sight loser. Lose sight. Sight loser. Sight. Yeah. Uh, he's a uh, barbarian goliath. His hair is non-existent. He is bald. Tips to tail. Tips to tail. Clean. Yeah. Right. Clean. Yeah, because you're a goliath or because yeah. he had male pattern baldness? Because uh, I'm a Goliath. Okay. Yeah. And he goes yeah. to a place. Yeah, but he's got a guy. He's got a guy. <laughs> what is what is he wearing? Because I imagine him in just like a furry. What, he's basically like a loincloth. Yeah. 
Is it a furry loincloth? Or is nah, it just it a leather. Leather. Uh, yeah. Mowgli style. Big, yeah. Big belt yeah. buckle, or is <laughs> yeah. it just hide? Uh, yeah. Uh, just hide. He's got a big old shield on his back. Mm-hmm. He used to be a bub and, a le- and his flashlight. From when he was a bouncer. Right, he was a bouncer. <laughs> okay, I like yeah. it. Didn't pick up on any niceties in the city. No. Or never wear, like, shoes. He's not concerned with that. Do you wear shoes? He has, boots? like, sandals. Sandals. Oh, oh, Jesus. Like yeah. Okay. yeah, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Made from little doors. Little doors, small doors. <laughs> <laughs> Goblin doors. Goblin doors. Yeah. I guess we'll just... All right. Uh, I'm Matt Buholtz. I play Roofer, a wood elf roofer. Uh, he is very excited because at the end of last session, he just sat around and he came up with some great business plans. <laughs> yes, we all remember that. Yeah. Yeah, great business Check plans that he had to go. <laughs> yeah, he had a meeting. He just was like thinking. Yeah, he was teleconferencing, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they scried him in. Yep. That's everybody. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I, I mean, need to ask I, about Rupert. Uh, Rupert. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rupert's yeah. hair is like filled with beeswax. It's nice and slicked back. He's got kind of the greaser look. I know Rupert's hair. That I don't have any questions about that. But I am wondering about... I just don't know what Chancho's hair was like. Everyone else's hair, I have a crystal clear image of. Uh, no, but what I wonder about is roof for his big. So uh, he, you bury like your backpacks loaded up with. Oh yeah, so it's, material, yeah, right? it's filled with like thatch. Okay. And then there are a bunch of rats that live in that thatch, and they run yes. around through it. Thatch. But they've also got yeah, uh, very much like the mini. The mini does a great job of it. Like selling thatch, thatch rats. Yeah, uh, I've also got an imp. I've got thatch rats. rats that glow in the dark. I got a lot of rope. You're kitted out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a good that's a good image. And last. Hi. And least. Uh, I'm Tom. I play Mac Mumbles McGumtree. Uh, he's a rock. I don't know why I touched it. Like I'm at a debate. Look at? What are you looking well, for? You're checking. You're checking. Like, yeah, I'm like you're still yeah. Playing that character. Mac <laughs> Mumbles McGum. Like, oh, oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. I did before. I did have a thought of like, oh, I'm gonna say Fighter Slayer instead of uh, Rock Gnome Barb, but it didn't. Uh, <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Uh, he's just an old, dirty bastard. <laughs> he's he's a bard at the end of a long, checkered... Ooh. Whoa, Ooh. that is a huge resub. Best yeah, Jimmy Bills. You guys gotta explain that means that's the ninth man. time that he's resubscribed to the channel, wow. which oh, is a cool hell. thing, because awesome, I think man. it gives us Thank a little you. bit of a kick every time you do that. That's Thank, so awesome. you. Thank you. Thank you, Bastard. Thank you. Yeah, man. If the rest of you could get on it, it'd be... Start resubbing. Keep talking about Gub. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay. Devana. No. Uh, <laughs> tell me, tell me. No, yeah. Uh, I need to know. Yeah, oh, he's just an old dirty bastard at the end of a long checker career. Uh, oh, just a, career is what? Uh, as a bard. As a bard. Okay. But he's uh, and his hair is like a That's I don't know. Question. It's like a big. It's like a rat, like a big messed up rat's nest. But he gets like one thing going. Like he got to comb through like <laughs> one part, so it's straight and symmetrical in one area. Then the rest is like kind of fucked up. And he reaches into his pocket. Mm-hmm. But what's the first thing he feels in his pocket? Oh fuck. Oh, <laughs> it just goes right through the balls. Ball sack. Yes. Ball sack. It's like it's it's <laughs> like a balls. small little pipe. Small little wooden pipe that isn't is his main pipe, but is like his little like First, a smoking pipe. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And that's the gang. Yay! Yay. 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 Awesome. No and so here. they're in this dungeon, as you can see. There's a lot going on with it. No, oh, no, you can't see this. They can't see this. But there's a lot going on in this dungeon, guys. Whoa. So oh, I can we get, before we get to that, mm-hmm. since this is crit juice, yes, mm. we got to yeah. talk about drinking, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe. Uh, drinking rolls. Yeah. So the obviously. Real serious epidemic. Uh, we have our four gold standard drinking rules which yeah. come up every time. Uh, anytime we crit or crit fail, yeah, uh, any time we roll initiative, roll initiative. Anytime we uh, get inspiration, mm-hmm. and anytime we an achievement is unlocked, but yeah. we don't really do those anymore. So we split the crit and crit fails into two separate. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, the number four is crucial. Very you guys bring this up all us. the time. You guys yeah. want me to bring back. Um, Achievements of mine. I mean, yeah. we've been asking for it for years. Yeah. Well, what if, like, when we if we win a challenge or something, or anytime there's a challenge brought up, we drink it. That's for sure good. Uh, or I, I, I think it kind of has become also we drink every time we do a reroll, kind of. Yeah. That is just kind of drinking oh, right. falling into that. We're drinking gonna drink for you, baby. We're just gonna drink. <laughs> gonna drink. Mm-hmm. But then there's there's the, certain times we have to drink. But then there's drink. drinking god rules for yeah. you guys too. Yeah. So yeah. you yeah. can submit your drinking god rules on Twitter currently. By using hashtag critj1 <coughs> for a crit fail or hashtag critj20 for a success. So again, on Twitter, if you use those hashtags, that will give us crit fails and crit successes 
Then we also do the drinking God rules that you guys submit, which is hashtag crit J gods with an S. With an S. You know what I think would be cool? If we found some kind of like ancient like shrine in this dungeon and it opened up a new drinking God rule somewhere along the way. Wouldn't that be fun? If That's it, a great like, idea. If the people that are watching live right now were like, oh, I wish I had sent one in, they still could. Do one live? I like that. And like then that. at some point in this dungeon, we'll stumble upon a shrine of Or do we at, have that as a dollar amount? Yeah, I think at, once we hit 50 $14, bucks, do we want to do 50? If we, once we raise $50, it'll be right off the gate. Great. Awesome. I think that's also when we have so to do a So get shot. those suggestions in, babies. Yeah, yeah good do suggestion. It, do it. So what were those again? Uh, you follow us on cri at Crijuice, and it's yeah. hashtag crit J gods. Gods for drinking gods. Hashtag crit J1 for a crit fail. Crit hashtag fail. crit J20 20. for a success. Can you just tweet that from the crit juice account? Yeah, I can. And that way they can just grab it, because I'm already furious. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be able to do that. I wouldn't be able to listen to this and like and navigate that. Yeah. I've like gotten that down that quickly. Uh, yeah, I don't think I would do it. It always works in movies. Yeah, and like this, people say it once in movies. movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, guys, excellent. Um, hmm. So sh should we should we, should we do some drinking we better, gods? Who wants to roll for our drinking god rules? Tommy, go for Tonight. it. Tonight. Yeah. All right. Two. Two. We got lucky at that one. All right. I'll let you know as soon as I finish this tweet that you guys made me do. Ah, oh, it's all backfired. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, it'll be pretty quick. I'm on the very last part. In the meanwhile, I'll recap. Great. You guys, uh, through a series of amazingly entertaining events, <laughs> found yourselves <laughs> on board the flying citadel of a dreaded lich, a high lich, who, you know, just kind of flew around in a citadel, caused trouble for people. <laughs> You also managed to. He's what, a dick. Okay. what he most recently did was abduct the queen of uh, Greyhaven, which was the place you guys were at. She was just a little girl. And you, being heroes, decided to try and save her, which you did spectacularly by utterly destroying the lich by summoning Satan, Asmodeus. That was who, my bad. Who lives in a little flask. <laughs> oh, my, my bad. Yes, which, where is the flask? Gone. I think it's with me. Uh, I don't have it. I kept I, it for years, and then I gave it away, and now it it's me. gone. Uh oh. So I feel like that is probably inspiration that for means me as, for as being <laughs> a great caretaker for all those fucking years. It sounds good. Inspiration. So it's, I'm not going to screw it up like I did last time. I really am not. Where is the? Well, give me the ball. I picked it. Uh, really go. quick, chat says, <laughs> Bay Brian is here, and that's all the handsome we need." Okay, I regret that decision. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I'm trusting you at all, I think. Which one? Just uh, that one. Yeah, okay. The one you just touched. Yep. <laughs> that one. Yep. This one. Very oh, heavy. Here, I'll take two of those. Very I have heavy two rerolls. Re give those back. I have two rerolls. So, you guys destroyed this lich through entertaining and amazing circumstances. Uh... Very heavy. <laughs> very, very, very heavy for me. Wait, I gotta keep one, right? Uh, yes, please. You can set it down. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. David's shoulders destroyed. <laughs> I'll never roll again. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, very good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you made one mistake. I heard that. That's, that was more than one. Yeah. But you slipped up. You done messed yeah. up, kid. All right. Oh, that no. was good. <laughs> 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 oh, come on. Man. It's like Kyle. <laughs> Eddie Haskell, eat your heart out. <laughs> <laughs> the lich is destroyed. Unfortunately, as you destroy the lich, you are in a floating citadel. The citadel kind of crashes and collapses on this island in the middle. The vast harbor, otherwise known as Kraken Bay. Mm. So named because of the powerful Kraken that lives there. Once again, a million awesome thank yous to... Uh, Cartography. Yes, uh, Marm the Map Maker, aka yes. Austin Lee Pritchett, yeah. who had a birthday yeah. recently. Oh, Did he? Uh, happy yeah. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. Yes. So, for you guys, is what this is mostly for. Stranding you on this island, you crossed back to the mainland in the midst of a massive storm, a storm created by a kraken that dwells in the depths of, of course, Kraken Bay, and you escaped unharmed, mm -hmm. possibly because of the noble sacrifice of one Zordicus who was pulled, plucked, 
out of the uh, boats you guys had managed to get. Mm -hmm. Beneath the waves, the storm abates. You guys safely get to the uh, coastline. Zordicus shows back up, and now he's bearing on his forehead what can only be described as the mark of the Kraken. Which looks like someone took a giant octopus sucker. Forehead. Stuck it to your forehead mm -hmm. and then pulled it off. And so it kind of is probably scarred. It's not a fresh, bloody wound or anything like that, but it's just this ominous, slightly sinister, circular mark. Nice. Yes. Cool. Do you hide that with your hair? Because with some long bangs, which wouldn't be flattering, you could do that. Yeah, maybe like it's a slight high, but not a full coverage. Okay. Not full emo. Yeah, Anyone who sees it probably won't know what it means, but they will be like, well, hey, he's got a bunch of big scars on his face. That's yeah. freaky. And then they'll be like, wait, that's the least of my words with this guy. Yep. <laughs> well, it, it has given you power. It's granted yeah. you the power to channel the Kraken's voice, yeah. as it were, through you. Mm -hmm. And that's great, and that's good, except you guys are now stranded on an area that is simply known as the Banded Coast. Because oh, cool. the Kraken is a possessive... Kraken, and he doesn't like it when people build cities along the coastline of Kraken Bay. And when they do, he rises up in fury and destroys them. So, there are lots of ruins. Then bandits kind of dwell here. So it's a lawless, dangerous area. And you guys find yourselves in one of these ruins. This is an ancient, halfway sunken jungle temple, currently swarming with lizard folk. Serpent people, if you will. You guys... I will. Lizzie McGuire's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys pass through the like surface archway, down into the depths, battle your way through a room packed with living slime known as shambling mounds. There are two guardian serpent folk right here with a giant scorpion that is serving them. Beyond that, there's a pit of oozing and bubbling slime. On the other side of this that... This feels like an... Uh, like American Double Gladiators bear. when they would like show the final yeah. run of like and like then and you then you'll go bike. yeah yeah I was thinking the same thing but Double Dare yeah. like <laughs> you have to slide down the tongue yeah. through the slime pit yeah. I was thinking Legend of the, Legend of the Hidden Temple yeah. 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 it's got a little bit of that going on see if we can put the monkey statue together yeah, yeah. it's three pieces mm -hmm. it's so simple uh, <laughs> there's a large a circular room beyond the bubbling pit uh, mass so of overgrown foliage yeah, studded with big. Tropical and exotic flowers grows there. That is where Zordicus is currently. Mm -hmm. And it grows right next to a large statue of a dragon who is cradling some treasure. A reroll. Treasure. Oh, yeah, there might be a reroll in there. Some treasure in his grip. There's, in fact, treasure throughout this forbidden and ancient temple. There seems to be a very large collection of serpent folk chanting. You can just distantly hear them in this room up ahead. That's what's going on. All right. Do we have our uh, drinking rules? We do. Great. Let's hear them. All right. So, drinking rules, refreshing. Uh, first is from Paul Cavassier of Witch March. Hey, Paul Cavassier. Always on day of play. Submit some. I always appreciate Old -time that. Old-time classic. Yeah, I love it. Uh-huh. Uh, so, <laughs> Zordicus Zodiac. Anytime Daniel laughs creepily, he must all drink. This is how he kills. Oh, yeah. oh no. Oh, no. What well, constitutes a creepy one? Oh, laugh. no. Anytime you laugh, I think. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Ooh. And then the Bitch. second one. <laughs> tell me if we had this one last time or not, because I do not recall. Drunken master, anytime someone rolls a skill they're not proficient in, they can take a shot to be proficient. No, we had a similar thing. Proficiency is going to give you guys a plus three. Okay. In exchange and that for one is from Gwillem. Willem Dafoe? Willem <laughs> underscore E. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, great. So those are two. So in addition to our four drinking rules, Brian. Brian. we have Brian. two more. Yes, Anytime please. Zordicus laughs in a creepy manner, we all have to drink. Anytime that uh, you guys need a little boost on your, your skill check, you can gain, basically gain an additional plus three in exchange for taking a shot. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Yeah. Well then, please allow me to part the veil of reality. Yes. Woo! Whoa! Part it! Whoa! Hey, David, do one of these. You know what's up? <laughs> <laughs> that is not what you do with the veil of reality. Remember? <laughs> but that's, Remember? And that's him as... <laughs> wow. Somebody's a bartender. <laughs> oh. Is that what they look like? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I was literally just about to grab a beer. <laughs> it looks so tasty. No, no, no. It's 
good. If you I want, have, I have my we reach have through the now. misty curtains no. of reality. We push them away, you know, uh, and we we pass through into a different realm. It is dark here. You are enclosed in ancient stones that the mortar is weeping humidity and, 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 and wetness down the sides. Everything is sticky. Everything smells like mildew. The ground is, is thick with mold and, and ferns, uh, probably small mushrooms and funguses. The air is uh, stuffy, humid, cloying, right at your nose, earthy and intense, loamy. It's Smells very like dark. These mangoes. <laughs> <laughs> Thane McGarry. Yay! Oh. Yay! For the donation. Remember, all donations go nice, straight man. to hands.org to help people out with Harvey. So thank you so yes. much for that, guys. Thank, they, you. They thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's very dark. Uh, let's hear some miniatures, if I may. Yes, gently, please. please. Gently. Gently. Uh, yeah. Who was currently battling? I think everyone was kind of. Fighting with these bastards, way, way, way over here. I put the dungeon in a bad place. Good night. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. uh, while we're setting up, Lazigator says, "Finally, get to catch one of these live. Thanks for doing this for a good cause." Oh my God. Thanks for so tuning much. in. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Make sure to give Saving Throw Show a follow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we... And thank you guys. is over here. Yeah. I believe you would just turn thing. into a gas. So Zorkis, you're the only one who can see what's going on up here. The rest of you guys are locked in combat right here. Uh, who has a light source? There's, there's some light coming in through this broken archway up from the surface. I have my flashlight. I Great. have Do a you have an energy ball. It's like on. Is it in your pack? Do you have it out? Uh, it's probably my pack. It, it, it glows. That, that blue energy ball glows faintly. You have one blue energy ball. You have another uh, little smaller, clear, gleaming energy ball that... Uh, Somebody looted last time. Does everyone I remember didn't. all the loot? loot I, I looted it the first time from the clan. Mm -hmm. You have that. Someone else found a similar energy ball last time. Okay. It was a, a, a clear orb. I think I described it as quite a bit smaller than the, the blue one you guys found with, with a gleam in the middle of it. You guys found a lot of treasure. This place is rife with treasure. Um, and you can hear, of course, there's the smells, there's the sight, but then there's also the ominous... Susurrus chanting, the hasasas, which kind of echoes through the complex and reaches your ears. I don't remember what initiative order was last time, so let's everybody roll for initiative. Oh, oh, oh it's yeah. happening! Cheers, baby. Cheers. 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 The baby. Clinky sippies. Clinky sippies. Clinky sippies. Wow, we're twins. Oh, wow. And I think everyone gets that. Uh, Advantage on initiative. Oh, advantage oh. by if you're thingy. Thing is that, that's still in effect. That sounds Ooh, good. That's like an effect. That's always gonna be in effect. Oh, that's yeah. wrong dice. Always oh. in effect. Oh. You gotta roll again too. Oh, oh. I get to roll psycho oh, punch oh, crits. Right. Oh no. Yeah. Son of a gun. Well, oh, we can all do it. Okay, uh, so let's start with Brian. What do you have? Uh, I have 16. 16 for Brian. Or I should say Aguilar, Alonzo, Kiko. Yes, please. Sight blinded. Uh, sight loser. Sight, sight loser. loser. Yeah. yeah, much better. Okay. Zord? Zord has a 22. Zord. He crit it. He crit on that initiative. He crit on the initiative. Ooh, sweet. Ooh, baby. Ooh, I like Chancho. it. 19. Very good. Ooh, I guess I like it. Nine. Nine, four. That's pretty low. Um, the Stampy. 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 That's the Simpsons reference. I, I, she's Stampy. <laughs> From here on. Tipsy. Tipsy. Sorry. I, I literally forgot it for a second too. It's, it's okay. Is, is Tipsy <laughs> following Mac into the this dungeon? Oh, for oh, sure. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, Mac has a nine and Rupert. nine as well. Oh my! What? Rupert I rolled a three. Was really lost in thought about these business things. You guys, that's such a good plan. Okay. Okay, good. All right, uh, Zordicus, you absolutely get to go. Um, so we'll pick up with you as you are. So yeah. there's this, it's basically there's a big um, rift. There's a hole in the floor. Something used to be there many, many ages ago, but now it's this mass of wooden, dense wooden vines, like a banyan tree almost, yeah. growing up through the floor of this uh, sunken temple, and it kind of branches out into leaves and stuff. And there are... There's really only one in full bloom, and it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Looks like an uh, like a lily flower, kind of, except the leaves, the petals are silvery white, 
Nice. And the uh, it's a very faint blue pollen on the inside. You recognize it as the one flower that can cure the encroaching blindness, which is claiming Aguilar's sight from an earlier curse, one of your earlier curses. Yeah. You pluck it delicately from the tree. None of the other blossoms on this tree are close enough to, they're not potent enough right now. They haven't bloomed all the way. You pluck that, you safely place it somewhere on your person. Mm -hmm. What do you do? All right. Uh, oh, and to describe, so there are two heavily armed, um, they look like humans, except their heads are snake heads, like the heads of um, are the, are like those the guards that we were fighting last time? Yeah, yeah they're still there. I, I think was I have one, one of them, them pinned. Pinned. Great. Aguilar, you want to be up here pinning this guy? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Aguilar is he's up in, a grapple. in this kind of higher chamber where you've got one of them pinned against the wall. Its head is writhing around. It's hissing at you. It's just a snake head with a human body. There's another one. He's got his long sword out. They've dropped their long bows. And this entirely too large scorpion, black, shiny, uh, chitinous plates, is uh, chittering towards Aguilar like it's going to jab him with a stinger. Sort of, because that's what you see behind you. That's across that bubbling right. pit. In the room you're in, it's a large circular room. Um, there are kind of vines grow out from this banyan tree across the floor. You kind of have to step over them a little bit. And the only real object of note is this very large broken dragon statue. It's about 15 feet tall. And uh, cradling in one of its slightly damaged arms is a treasure chest. A little bit of green mm -hmm. lichen or whatever growing over it. And there's the room beyond with a bunch of chanting. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Zordix kind of like looks around and he notices the the statue with the treasure, but he holds off on grabbing it because one of his in his hermitage, some of the like caves would lead to like a secret vault, and the vault was what you would call the Disney Vault, <laughs> where he's all like, "Oh, why was it called the Disney Vault?" Well, because he saw these <laughs> Disney movies, and he knows the scene in Aladdin when Abu goes for the ruby, so he's just like, "I'm gonna hold off." And let someone else handle this this damage. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. And what is a Disney movie? In in Zordikus's understanding oh, in of the world, understanding it is a it's a it's a idiot child's fever dream. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone go, come on, let's go down to the Disney vault. Yeah. Uh, but he's just by himself, so he'll like pop a man. The Disney the idiot <laughs> fever dream child. Yeah, he's like, what is this? What is this magic of hideous? <laughs> Take that Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Take that oh Disney. Yeah. Donate, please. Donate. Um, <laughs> so Zordacus, hearing the hissing, seeing that, he's like, he's more inclined. He's like, he wants <clears throat> his his friends to come and experience this potential pain. <laughs> and then Zordacus just goes, <laughs> so a drink. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Drink. the powering. This Colorado's not bad. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But he's going to turn Taxi. towards the foes keeping him at bay, and he's going to kind of, in his hands, rub his fingers together until like a little flame creates. And he's going to throw it out. And then a big old 15-foot cone of fire is going to go in that room. In which room? In this room? Yeah, yeah. Can you... You're mm -hmm. shooting it across the gap over the bubbling slime. Yeah, baby. Right into that room. Mm hmm I like it. Uh, so question, would the flame be constrained through this opening and just hit the scorpion, or would it spread out and catch Aguilar as well? 50-foot cone. I was going to catch Aguilar. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, Perfect. So everyone has to make a deck save in that room. Including you, Aguilar. Great. Which dice do you use? Uh, probably, the one, probably the guy that I have grappled has a disadvantage oh, to do that. Oh, oh my god, saying. I didn't even realize. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> The guy, yeah, that sounds perfect. He definitely has disadvantage. I believe you probably have disadvantage as well, unless you took a feat that improved your grappling recently. Yeah, that's I'm a grappler. Uh, okay, so I think that works. So the flame comes roaring through. What do, what do I need? A deck save. Deck save. What deck color is the flame? Side. What does this look like as you cast it? Is it just save. red fire? Yeah, it's just your classic classic fire that everyone God loves. Okay, his favorite fire. So this flame comes blasting through with. What, is I, what do I have to beat here to keep these guys alive? Uh, 17. Great. Woo. Hey. And, yeah. Oh, but the one guy's got disadvantage. So they both fail. They take full damage. How much is that? Uh, both or with the scorpion? Oh, and the scorpion. Yeah. Scorpion. I believe he succeeds. Can I see? Can I see? 
you? Because I get I have danger sense, so I get advantage on. Scorpion also thing. fails. Mm. They all fail. Hell yeah. Right. I don't know if you would be able to see him. Would I be able to see him? Do I know where he is? No, you definitely cannot see him. That's not line of sight at all. It's, it's this is a very constrained opening. As you okay, then it probably then it hits me. No, you right. just catch fire. Eleven. Five. Eleven damage. Mm-hmm. Eleven damage to you, Tagula, right? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. That's not bad. Okay, uh, Zordicus. I'm bloodied. And then do you move at all, Zordicus, or you just chill there? You're bloodied. Um, yeah. You shout that out. How does how do you announce to your friends that you're bloodied, or you just wipe a little blood off your nose? Yeah, I I just. I, I had the guy grappled and like my nose just actually starts to bleed and it goes in his mouth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the grossest thing I've ever God heard. Damn. They're special. You guys have rerolls. Last two from last time. Oh, bitchin'. Okay. I'm just gonna throw these guys at you really hard. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. My, the, my pleasure. It's a new character I'm working on. Okay. We're back. Okay. We're back. Yay! Thank you, guys. Yay! Sorry Woo! about that. Thank you for watching. <laughs> yes. Aguilar's. No, this somebody has a reroll from Thane McGarry. Thane McGarry. Thane McGarry gives Mr. Tom Fonz a reroll. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, baby. I haven't done anything. Thank you. Except so delight much. the public. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He also wants Tom to know he got Amy on that secret project. Oh. Oh. It means I think nothing. I know to what me. that means. Yes, but it's okay. That's very secretive, Thane. I'm very. I know okay. what it means. Oh, you know what it means? Okay. Maybe. Okay. Maybe I don't. Maybe I do. Stay tuned and we'll make them know. reveal it. Okay. Zordicus, you're done. Did you? I was asking if you wanted to move. Zordicus is kind of staying put. He's got a good vantage point. Zordicus stays put. <clears throat> Chancho. <laughs> Chancho sees that fire go through there, and he's like, ooh, I want some of that. And so he goes <laughs> running in. Is that a scorpion you said on the this ground? This is a giant scorpion. It's about the size of... Um, it would be bigger than. It would be bigger than Beethoven from the movie Beethoven. Great. Bigger than him and Beethoven's second, though? No. In between Beethoven's first and second. Manageable. Yeah. Great. You could ride it if you could tame it. But yeah. It would prefer to kill you. Grad prefer to kill it. So I'm going to run up on it, and yeah. I'm going to... Um, it's the Darjiki miniature, because Brian kills all my miniatures. Mm-hmm. And, uh, that one's made out of metal, so he's lasted the longest. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna run. Answer. I'm gonna like slide, and I'm gonna try to like whack off one of his big claws. Okay, that, like, that sentence could have ended better, but yeah. Whack him well, off. Yeah, I could whack well, off something else. Though. I'll whack off his dick, David. Is that what you want to hear? <laughs> whack off scorpions scorpions thing, don't have dicks. Fucking Sorry, man. scorpion dick. Um, <laughs> I did want to hear that. Thank you. Uh, it's a twenty-six to hit. Yeah, that hits. That's a Great. definite hit. And that's for 13 damage. What are you attacking with? Is that with? I'm attacking with Rat Fang. Mm, and then as I slide through, I follow up my short sword and I go right under his gut with it. And I try to get in between the chitin plates and I just fucking ram it in there. And that's for uh, 17. Jeez. To hit. Okay. Uh, oh, to I'm, hit. Okay. And I'm going to re-roll the... Does that hit? 17 hits. I'm going to re-roll the damage on that. Okay. Using your re-roll. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll accept that. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Re-roll? Oh, uh, we have to choose. Sure. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Drake. Yeah. Drake. Yeah. yeah. Rerolio. 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 
Uh, cool, yeah. Better. So that's for uh, seven damage. Seven, okay. On so top of the 13 damage. Gee, so a total of 20 damage. 20 damage. damage. Uh, so it's just a blur of, uh, with your blade. Uh, and then... And it cuts through it okay. with, with a pleasurable sensation as you just hit the plates and just... Right in, and then you're underneath it, and then... Whoa! And Broken! Oozes, Whoa! Video game! Yes. Yes. So excited. Oozes spraying out of it, and it's like gross purple-green stuff. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Then, and then I'm gonna um, keep moving and duck back into the room. You're rolling back out down mm -hmm. the stairs. Bum, 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 bum. I'll need like an acrobatics check because it is kind of like a flight of slimy stairs. Or I'll just get behind big guy. Behind, I'll Aguilar. Get behind Aguilar. Yeah, I think Slightly we've established scared. that you can definitely shimmy beneath his like giant Great. thighs. I'm gonna get behind those big hairless thighs <laughs> and just sort of post so, up. So smooth, they're easy mm -hmm. to get through. Mm -hmm. Post up behind them. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It means I'm gonna like you're back on your feet. I'm gonna jump. Yeah, I'm gonna slide through the muck, right? So I kind of like slide in like a slip and slide, whack whack like that. Kick off, I, like put my uh -huh. feet down, kick off his like little legs. They're dying, and then slide back, oh, guts and then to slide. I'm all your... lubed up with yeah. scorpion mm -hmm. guts, yep. and so I slide between his legs, and then when I get out from under behind, I get behind him. I just kind of spring up and latch onto his buns, and they don't even, they can't even see me because I can attempt to hide whenever I want. Great, if I'm got obscured a by a creature straight. larger than me. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. But Great. as he slides back, some of Aguilar's blood drips into his mouth, too. No! <laughs> <laughs> so Aguilar's nose is just flowing, I guess. Yeah. Just going. Little, little, little drippies. Aguilar, it is in fact your turn. Oh, great. So, the fact that he's bleeding and, and he's been hit by fire, he goes into a rage. Mm. Oh, wow. And uh, sees that his little buddy just did this damage to this scorpion guy and he's just gonna go over and uh pummel him with his war hammer uh with uh, the scorpion the scorpion yeah Perfect. he's gonna he's gonna you can see yeah it's 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 not looking good but it and it's got just weird like all sorts of little small black dot eyes on its head and it's <laughs> okay yeah Coming towards you man it's trying mm -hmm. to get you he can, he can the claws it. look okay. It looks like you can handle the claws. Big lobster claws coming at you. But it's that, that, that tail that's bobbing and weaving. Yeah, he sees, he sees kind of the, the tail he's bobbing and weaving. He's, he's enraged, and he's going to try and warhammer his tail. He's going to just sure. like cr You're crush You're just going to try and like T-ball yeah, that off. stinger off the tail. Yeah. And that is a crit fail. Oh, oh love it. Cheers. Oh, uh, love it. Cheers, cheers. indeed. Cheers. Hell Dorado. already. Ay, ay, ay. More power to the GM. I love it. Uh, looking one Thanks up. You Would you well, please? Uh, Thank you. Right now. All right, we're gonna look. We're gonna look up what happens there. Functionally, I get a, you miss. I get a second attack now because I'm fifth level. Do I still get the second attack? Technically, you do. All right. But so, if you miss on this attack as well, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do something bad to your character because you just whiff it so badly. That's fair. Okay. Yeah, he's not. He's enraged. He's not gonna stop. Oh, wait. When I'm raging, do I have an advantage? <laughs> You might. You probably do, actually. I'm so that might be the only good reason to rage. It's a good one. It's a great one. <laughs> it's a great one? Is it you get poisoned by a giant scorpion? Cause yeah. You do have advantage? Yeah. You bastard. Oh, yeah. yeah, I have advantage. So. You're all chancho now. I crit! Oh! <laughs> wow. oh Flip the script! <laughs> Worth it. Cheers! What a cheer! Is that? Look at his face! Awesome. Look at his face! That was amazing. <laughs> Nobody oh. clip that. <laughs> uh, Nobody clip that you'll you'll want to do the crit fail before the crit. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Uh, but well, it's I don't. It's so my advantage. advantage. It, it, it doesn't actually even crit fail because he had oh. advantage on it. Oh, so right. only the crit success matters. Yeah, Brian. Yeah. So you completely whip it like a huge goober. I go and I like. spin it around like it's just me like <laughs> doing a Moulin A to like flip. I took stage combat games. It's, yeah. very, very, it's a fancy spin of a, a sword or a weapon. I loved it. And he just goes and he he's like taking the butt end of his warhammer and jamming it through the scorpion. Great. That sounds great. Uh, so that's absolutely. So you do. Uh, you get a roll. And that's your only dice. your first attack still. If you yeah. still do two attacks, so oh. keep that train rolling. God. So. So do we have a crit success yeah. we can drop on you? Okay, so let's so see what the happens. The crit success is from Claymore ZX. Yeah. 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 It says love the episode last time. Uh, it's called Moment of Nostalgia. Mm -hmm. You now have the fighter ability Action Surge for 24 hours in game. 
What does that mean? What is action? Action, action surge. surge. Yeah, let's From get Brian edition? more rules. Not quite like action <laughs> cult. Is it, can we look that one up? Yeah, can we look that one up? Does he reference an edition? Is he I'm, I'm guessing it's fourth. That, that sounds, sounds like, like fourth. the fourth edition thing. Um, there's like an action surge ability, uh, though, in the PHP. I'm going to look it up. You want to roll your damage and tell me what you do to the Yeah. Second? Roll so, your second so attack, too. Do you get max damage in 5e on your Roll uh, yeah. All dice roll twice. All dice roll twice? Yeah. I picked that one up from at Chris Perkins. Uh, ten, the so, DM for so Wizards six, of the Coast. Yeah. I love that dude. 16 plus... I thought it was max damage. Uh, well, have we been doing max damage? I like the all dice roll twice. I think that's... That's fun. That's fun. Dice. I just didn't yeah. know. I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't testing you. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm so defensive with you. Yeah. So, yeah. 16 bludgeoning damage. You can take... <laughs> You can take one additional action on top of your regular action and a possible bonus action, and that's fifth edition. We'll take that. So I have an additional action the whole rest of the day. And they gave it to the for barbarian. For 24 hours, you can like hit again. So you can attack. So 24 hours is normally us playing for seven two, sessions? Two or three minutes. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. Uh, you all uh, fall into a deep sleep. <laughs> <laughs> As the curse of the temple all right. affects you. So 16 damage on my... On my <laughs> first attack. My second attack, I'm just going to jump on him. I'm going to all, you know, 350 pounds. The Aguilar body slam has body been. Slam. Yeah, this is how you yeah, became a rat. Isn't that now. how you always get diseased? Rat yeah. masher. I don't know, but he's not, he's not a break. He's also you, being blinded, so this is like his safest bet to hit. Oh yeah, yeah. don't you have, you've got a minus uh, one or something like that to your checks because of your encroaching blindness, right? To, yeah, to checks, yeah. yeah. So, uh, the... That's a 17 to hit. Well, you know what? It's it's uh it's gone. It's fine. That uh you it come, kills him. Yeah, you come flying in with your body slam, and it's scorpion soup, man. You slam into it. It there's a really satisfying crunch sound. Great. Like when you step on a really perfect leaf that's like in autumn, yeah. it gives you that. It is scorpion, and the claws pop off and go flying into the corners, and the just that awesome. tail. And done. Then, Pick uh, yourself up. As my extra action, can I use a hit dice? Can you do that? To heal yourself? Yeah. No, because uh, the extra action is probably a bonus action to attack. Oh, okay. It takes like the, your actual action. So then can I run that and... Actual. It said action or bonus action. Really? It says you action get an or bonus action? extra action or bonus action. Yeah, then you can. Then you can. Okay, then I'll use a... Or I will allow it anyway. Mm. That's not the right dice. I'll read it again. So Aguilar... Bloodied, brat, uh, battered, battered and bruised. Yeah, and then he just kind of like shivers and you, you know like kind of resurf like. On your turn, rage. on your turn, out. you can take one additional action on top of your regular action and a possible bonus action. In addition, if another wow. character is riding your character, they gain Here go. Here eight go on. magical items. <laughs> <laughs> oh, D8, D8 magical items or just eight magical eight items? Eight magical items Don't even that they that. can choose. <laughs> wow. That's tough, man. I wouldn't believe it. I really wish we had stuck with that. I really wish we had stuck with that natural one. Curse yeah. your increasing knowledge of the rules, Brian. Uh, <laughs> so I will use a hit dice. Okay, heal, heal up. And uh, I'm so going yeah. to re-roll my hit dice. Oh my god, are you? Yeah, why not? Re-roll. Yeah. Woo! Oh yeah, re-roll. <laughs> I rolled the same thing, so I'm gonna use my other oh, yeah. one just to get rid of Keep it. Keep them I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, and I got 11. That's much better. Yeah, so just battle rage and your adrenaline comes through you, and yeah. you look at those wounds, and you're like, these are nothing. Ha -ha. Oh, I did it the wrong way. I did the scorpion's it. turn. The scorpion dies a, a meaningless, brutal death <laughs> beneath, oh. beneath your pecs. Yes. Oh, and you we pick laughed. yourself up. Does that laugh count? Yeah. God does. damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll use it sparingly. <laughs> You're not in control of the laugh. The, the laugh, laugh is the laugh is in control of you. Yeah. Oh no. We do, however, <laughs> have another like of the serpent folk defenders. He has his sword out. A normal, a human, someone you've backed into an alleyway, who has seen two of his friends <laughs> torn to pieces in front of him, would mm -hmm. back down, would plead for surrender. The serpent folk, you just see no emotion cross its face, its eyes doesn't even curl its brow, cold bloodedly. Levels its sword at Aguilar and lunges forward, attempting to drive it into your chest. 
And it's not a bad it's not a bad blow. I have a 21 versus AC to hit Aguilar. I bet Ooh. that does it. Ooh. 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 Hot by eight. Okay, so that's at least one hit, right? Uh, it should be, but I have something. That, uh, you have something? You got an email. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, I, I just have res resistance to damage. So, just, just that, that means you take just half damage. Armor. That's brutal. Oh my god. What is your um, totem? What is, what is, what is your rage? Bear. I'm a bear totem. I can speak with two bears. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> also in <we> Weeho. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Aguilar, yeah, all right, very good. So uh, instead of taking eight points of damage, you only take four. Great. You take half damage from all these attacks, which is <laughs> Great. My, the worst thing. Uh, yeah, so he comes lunging forward, drives the sword to you expertly, hand on the hilt as he attempts to pierce it into your chest and it just kind of hits your Goliath hide and glances, glances away. Great. That's it for me, guys. Uh, right. Next in the order, my god, Mac. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Uh, Mac, followed by Rufer. Or actually, the two of you tied, so who wants to go first? Who's got higher? Uh, you want to go first? Okay. Oh. I don't care. Either. Well, let's just stop playing. Jesus, I'll go. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> go for it. All right, Mac, I, I mean, said, I said, courteous way. No, I, don't, I don't care about it. I said Mac, so Mac, go ahead. Okay. Um, uh, this guy's a uh, uh, serpent person too, right? Yep. Yeah, his head is so he's his Serpons. body is is a muscular man's yeah. body. He's got like a little bandolier going on, classic green snake skin okay. uh, legs. Long. No regular human Keep legs, <laughs> little green snake skin booties. And is he tan? <laughs> no, he's pale. He's real pale. <laughs> looks like he's hair spending like. a lot of time underground. Okay, okay. No hair. Cool. His head looks like if you guys have ever had like a garden snake, gardener snake, right? Garden Just that. Uh, classic, with a yellow, yellow line down his twink. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's pretty burly. He's more of like a otter. Yes. Mm. Oh, yeah. Snake mm. otter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fave. A verbal otter. <laughs> this, this is the dungeon now. Is in the heart of Weeho. <laughs> so that, that's what he looks like, and his tongue flickers out as you look at him. Oh. Mac <laughs> is going Not to. Not in a sexual way. Just a it snake is. way. Mac is gonna uh, make a minor illusion. Uh, Eye level Disco of the serpent, off. dude. Uh, on the wall. I see the gears drinks. turning here. What is happening? <laughs> yes. Shit. Oh, oh that, they, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty that. transparent. Uh, the. No, I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> oh no, the, it's gonna be like the juiciest, like healthiest, fat, just full of food and good and nutrition, rat. Big rat. Big juicy rat <laughs> on the corner of the wall right here. Hanging out, hanging out, I, eye level to the serpent guy. I love it. You described that. I saw that rat for a moment as you were describing him. Yeah. Okay. So inspiration. Uh, I'm gonna make. He's gonna make a uh, a willpower check <laughs> to attempt to, to resist really? Hold on to see to through the illusion because he didn't see a rat there a minute ago and he's no. been guarding this room. Yeah. What the fuck was but that? But that is a good looking rat. So if he fails right. this, he will have disadvantage on all of his checks. Can't believe I didn't un unlock an achievement when I crit failed. He's, he's that's a failure. Yeah. So he does not. Oh. What are the odds? <laughs> oh! Hey, never oh, tell me the odds. Oh! Um, <laughs> Come on. Yeah, should we? Okay, should we do achievement online? Give him something. That sounds good. Yes, sir. Hear about it the rest of the night. Oh, oh. That's, that's why I need other things. <laughs> yeah. What this, is that? This die is going to represent your uh, your advantage. Okay. You've got. So take an advantage for critting first crit of the night. Crit, success, crit, fail. Call it right. flip the script. Call flip it the script. flip the script. I was going to call it a stop and go, but I like to flip the script. Yeah, script Rewrite. flip. Rewrite. Script flip, you get a uh, advantage whenever you want to spend it. He Great. is distracted, sir. His head involuntarily snaps towards the wall, leaving him completely open. Roofer. Oh, do you move? Can I just do one more thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe. Uh, can I do a perception check in that room? Mm hmm Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. So you crit the perception oh, check. God damn you guys. What is happening? Well, no, it's, it's <laughs> We're not. We're doing it for a good cause. That's what's yeah, happening. That's right. Yes. That's right. And now you guys at home, for, don't forget that. We're rolling for others now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you um, roll for a cause, you're greater than yourself. We're rolling for two. I, is it, uh, Mac is looking, um, is, is looking for the chink in an armor, in, 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 in literal armor. <laughs> OK, yeah, literal armor. OK. Yikes. <laughs> In the in the lizard, dude. Oh, okay. Oh, in the man. In the man. Yeah. 
okay, sure. Oh, like a weakness or something. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, that's I weakness. totally get now why. Well, you it's a natural yeah, twenty, so you definitely see it, and it's exactly what you think it is. It's Bob. <laughs> his penis. Yes, his penis. Thank you. That's right. <laughs> As you say, it is his penis. Which, because his, you can see that loincloth. <laughs> his hand keeps darting to the loincloth. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> this was fun when we were 28. <laughs> <laughs> we matured. Is this what we're still doing with our lives? Yeah. Come on. No, you can see he, he's got the loincloth going on, but he's done it up in that way, like when you put a towel around your waist and yeah. you kind of tuck it in. Loose. And the knot keeps slipping. And yeah. so one hand keeps going to the knot and like retighten it. Self conscious. He's yeah. really self conscious. Mm -hmm. So, in, in a. In, <laughs> in 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 a sort of swing away, Meryl. Uh, if you get that reference, oh yeah, I know you do. Signs, yeah. yes. He Mac gives out a very vague, but if you get it, you get it. Um, look to the loin. Look to the loin. <laughs> I don't know why he's making it intentionally ambiguous. Like he doesn't just say hit him in the there. dick. Yeah. He doesn't say hit him in the dick. He just goes look to the loin. I also like that that was that was the weak spot. Do we need how to crazy roll? Like, do we need to roll to see whether if or not we understand what he's saying, or if we think we need to look at this guy's dick? <laughs> I do like that. That with your natural twenty, the weak spot you identified on this man was his the dick. Weak spot. Hit him in the dick. <laughs> No one would have thought of that. No, <laughs> okay. no one. Yeah, you can see that he's self-conscious about his uh, dick over. Um, <laughs> it's a natural 20. Everyone picks up on that. Rufer, it's your turn. <laughs> Everybody knows what looks to the loin it means. Uh, okay, so Rufer you is going to roll if you want to. That's, and that's I will say, so he's turned yeah. opposite, right? Yeah, he's, he's facing down Aguilar here, so he's kind well, of... Well, isn't he looking at the rat? Oh, he is looking at the rat now. Thank you, yes. He has been distracted momentarily, so his... his so is there Haunches advantage on him? Towards you. Oh, yeah. definitely. Okay. So understanding what Max said, mm -hmm. uh, Rufer is going to go ahead and run in there, and he's got a spar, which is like a long piece of wood they use to tap down thatch. Oh. Uh, <laughs> thatch tapper. Slides on his back <laughs> over the loin. Yeah, I'm going to go, right and I'm going to do, like, <laughs> the, uh, I'm going to basically do the baseball slide between the guy's Larry legs. <laughs> and mm -hmm. take a, Take a swing going up. Okay, well, you have advantage on that. Uh, and take, take, take inspiration. Oh, thanks, man. For your look to the loins. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, we're doing this. Um, that's going to be that's a, hit. a nine damage. Nine damage, okay. All right. And then, oh wait, I'm Does sorry, that is him? not nine damage. That is much more than it should have been. Uh, that is oh, seven damage. Well, we established it was his weak spot, and you are hitting a man in the balls. So you okay. slide on your back between his legs and hit him as hard as you can with a wooden stick. Yeah. Well, let's double the damage just for starters. So oh, yeah, if he <laughs> gets hit yeah, his dick, it's double it's damage. Enough. That beer's doing him well. And his heart grew. If he gets hit there, it's double damage. And he day. also wins America's well. Funniest Home Videos. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Dang goes, oh, I this cat to a roof. That's not a roof. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we'll just, just for that particular move, since, okay, since so, you're teed up for Then it. I get an unarmed yeah, monk attack against his nuts. Okay. Which is going to be... Oh, that might miss. 18 versus... Oh, that hits, yes. Okay, for 10. 10 damage? Yeah. Oh, yo, yo, And yo. then I'm a monk at level 4, so I get to attack him again with the spar, so I'm taking another hit. So, like, the first one was like this, the next one was like this, so it's going back to hit, like, the front side so, now. Speed bag. You are kind of speed bagging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a new thing we've invented. Yeah. Speed bagging. Yeah. Like speed bagging, but infinitely worse. Yeah. Okay. So that's going to be... That is another hit, my son. Okay, my so that's friend. 12. 12. Holy and then God. another yeah. unarmed attack. And you're not doubling the damage on these when you talk. No. Yeah, you, oh my God. Okay, go ahead. And that's going to hit for 7 damage. Well, you rolled a 1. Yeah, I accidentally rolled a d4. Can I re-roll it? Yes. <laughs> Instead of making <laughs> okay, up a number? so that's going to be an 11. <laughs> what? Huh? Wait, you were just <laughs> going with that? <laughs> What? He was just going to take the wrong <laughs> dice that was on the lower well, I rolled the wrong one, and that's a responsibility on me for rolling the wrong dice. Yes, I should have. So I got four hits <laughs> in. 
You have plus six to your damage mod? Holy yeah, because I'm a monk at level four. You're actually at level five. I think everyone's at level yeah. five. Yeah. That's even worse for me. Usually you get drunk last time. But that's fair. <laughs> Right, drink, up, drink up shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, like, we're at level five, and I just forgot. Great. Uh, oh. it, that obliterates his, uh, his nuts. Business. Yeah, his genitals. Uh, but his wife loves him was already him. pregnant. Oh, <laughs> I love and that. And neither of them knew. Mm. Oh, we well, were about wow. to kill his wife. And sure, oh, shortly. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to make and a happy then, ending uh, out of this. I, I go <laughs> ahead and, and we don't have to kill these guys. You can yeah. combat them. No, I'm going to kill them. Don't be an idiot. <laughs> I, I give uh, one of my mice one of my his. business cards, boom, boom. and he like runs up the guy and like holds it like at his shoulder so that he can like see the business card. That's great. Uh, you, you definitely get it to eye level. I think his eyes are dilated and pained to the point like because they're like mm. snake slit eyes and they're just wide, open. Uh, yeah, I really think you've just destroyed his genitals in a way that I'm not prepared to describe. As you slide under a Let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> but there's like. Something wet on your hands and you're done with him. I'm uh, sorry I make this whole thing about genitals. <laughs> but, uh, I yeah. just am putting that together too. Well, we have you here. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. What you bring to the table? I know, I know. It's yeah, no one house. else, no one else right. brings that. Uh, his balls blew up. <laughs> his balls, his balls. Yeah, he's, uh, and he, he probably falls to his knees, clutching his crotch. But he's still but what alive. What sound does he make? <laughs> uh, solid. It's solid. a good sound. Yeah. 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 I've been hitting the balls. <laughs> It shows. He went back. <laughs> Tapping into that pain. <laughs> he hits the ground, back to the top. <coughs> Zorticus. He's still alive? He's still alive. Isn't that brutal? Holy fuck. That, that, that was a mean? lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. These guys are All right. Zorticus Oh, I'm not screwing around with this dungeon. Zorticus just looks over watching this whole thing unfold. And he's just... <laughs> Everyone oh. He's bubbling. <laughs> He's bubbling. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And then Zorkis hears the phone ring and picks up. Are you his wife? Oh. <laughs> oh. Bad news. You're pregnant. <laughs> She's pregnant. Oh She's pregnant. Oh Everyone God. celebrates for a second and then he, he's like, it's not his. Is that you? Is that you? Who is it? Is he just shaming him? <laughs> this is the newest Adam Sandler Netflix yeah. movie. <laughs> the, the guy who got his uh, mouth destroyed is you. played by Rob Schneider. <laughs> He's like, when Rob Schneider finds out his best friend has been yeah. sleeping his wife, he's going to get his nuts destroyed in a towel. <laughs> <laughs> That's the connect. It doesn't matter. Netflix already bought eight of these. <laughs> Adam Sandler is the best friend and the best friend's dog? <laughs> yeah, I'm a I'm dog. actually on I'm a dog. This movie now. <laughs> I'm a dog. I got nuts still. You don't know, shut the fuck up. Hey, I'm going to new to you. Whoa! Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I Sorry, that was a good, this is all happening in game as well, by the way. Yeah. Zordicus yeah. Yeah. stands with his <laughs> hand to him. Oh, oh, my God. I'm having this whole dialogue. Going back and forth. Uh, Mac is sat down. Yeah. 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 Um, Enthralled. Yeah. yeah. Tell us more. You're, yes, that's, mm -hmm. that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't have it. All right, so Zordicus on this last guy, just to add, you know, insult to injury, is going to with his hand just go and then like poison's gonna shoot out mm. go in this guy's face and he's gonna make a con save of 17. Ooh, he has made a con save of 17. oh he fails that's right God damn it. And he takes uh 13 poison damage well that finishes him off. As so, he hits the ground onto his knees, clutching his crotch, and his head turns towards you as he, he hears you. Yeah, hears saying something. I don't spoil this, Adam Sandler. Rob Schneider vehicle. <laughs> and then just a, a plume of, of venom flies into his eyes. Mm -hmm. Oh, venom. Poison. 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 Believe he's immune to. Not this one. <laughs> They need, they need like their it. testicles to be immune. Yeah. Testosterone. <laughs> yeah, he's immune to poison. It Is does it no poison? damage to him. I oh. said boys and boys and berries. <laughs> I am poison. <laughs> a very deadly get. The yeah. poison splatters across his face. I'm from from a snake the man uh. who's immune to it. Uh, however, at that point, speaking of snakes, two giant constrictor snakes, unseen by you, have unwinded themselves from this banyan tree. So as you're talking, 
interacting. It's yes. brain poison. Entertaining. <laughs> Which, as yeah, you were, games are. You are, uh, yeah, excellent. Basically seized from behind. You're suddenly yanked backwards as a snake coils itself around you. Look at this little guy. That's probably good there, actually. No, snake you. Unseen. It's not bad damage either. Uh, take it. Come on, take it out. Oh, <laughs> you take you take thirteen points of damage. Whoa. Bludgeoning Whoa. damage. Not even a roll on me? I did roll. I hit you. Uh, I got a uh, twenty four. Is that it? Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, is it is it wraps <laughs> around you uh, and starts squeezing. Even as you're laughing, you feel your, your ribs get a little squeak. Take 18 points of damage, and you're grappled. Until you escape, uh, until you do escape, you are restrained, which means you can't move. Okay. Okay. Moving on. All right. Sorry, Chancho, you're on. The guy's still alive. The, he's dripping in poison. I'm going to climb up Aguilar, and then from his shoulders, dive down, like right on top of him. That's a lot of nuts. <laughs> uh, it's oh, for uh, 28 to yeah. hit. Oh, yeah, that's a hit. And that's for uh, 11 damage. That's because everyone is The snakes are choking out. the life out of you. That's true. Yeah. That's very true. Mm -hmm. The curse are they of the, the temple strikes as the chanting reaches its fevered pitch. The chanting, if it was translated, is just the Fraser theme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta get that. <laughs> they hear the blues are calling. It's yep. tossed salad. It's scrambled <laughs> eggs. Yeah, that's right. Good that's night, right. Seattle. That's, we it makes love sense you. because uh, all the minis are white. Oh. oh. <laughs> Does make sense. <laughs> David Hyde Pierce. David Hyde Pierce damage. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that t shirt? <laughs> yeah. Let's get that that's on a mug. Mm -hmm. um, yes, yeah, so all of a sudden it's like there's this intense arcane pressure. So it's just like a chain in the atmosphere. And all your shadows switch to the opposite side. Which is okay. weird. Which is weird. Uh, functionally, you characters wouldn't know what that means. Practically, since we're running a game here, uh, it's the, the curse which haunts this temple is the curse of gold. Ooh. There's much to be had. My boo nope. warning was right, maybe. But at this point... Uh, Damage you guys take is no longer <laughs> suffered by you yourselves. It's suffered by any wealth you have on you. So any damage no. you take, that much, you'll take that, well, you'll take. What a prick. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> your, your, your gold will take that damage instead and just kind of evaporate. Do I have to have line of sight? Wait, so if you don't have that much gold, do you die? <laughs> If you don't have gold to absorb any of the damage, you take twice as much damage as usual. Ooh. I don't know how much gold I have. I All right. I don't okay. Know. Not a lot. Or maybe a lot. I don't know. You guys have quite a bit of gold. I loaded you guys up. Yep. Wow. Let's go. Yep. All right. Okay. Great. So that is the chanting reaches the pitch. They are still chanting, so it sounds like they might have more in plan. Uh, so that was Chancha who went. So we are on Aguilar. Sounds correct to me. Aguilar uh, man. Don't her. take any damage. Oh, but you also wait. It takes the damp. It takes instead of you getting hurt, you lose gold. The the gold that you possess. I love yeah. gold, right? Uh, do we know this? Topical Is this reference. a thing that we can assess? <laughs> yeah, I I just in order to make it all clear and be on the same page with everybody. Yes, your characters become aware of it. It's the nature of the curse. So if I say like, hey everyone, if we give all of our gold to Tipsy and Tipsy doesn't take any damage, then since we get hit and we don't have any money. Can't take any money off of us. Okay, so you, then you just take, twice, then you take double damage. But then we take double We're playing damage. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes, mm, that's right. Go. Oh, perfect. Like Every time money. you get hit, all your coins Keep shoot your coins. into the air. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I, I love that idea. I got real excited, and then I remembered and, uh, double damage. Yeah. Well, so so or Aguilar. I see. I, I can see the snake yeah. hugging Zordicus, right? Oh yeah, and it's doing lots of damage to him. I'm raging. As it and comes I'm, to my mouth, I'm like, and then add it. And the snake, the snake just uh, cuts that kill, off. Kills the snake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the words of the Adam Sandler movie. He dies. He's so bored and disappointed, he dies. <laughs> the snake is David Spade. 
Okay, so Aguilar, what do you do? Uh, there is ru- this pit you've got to cross. How big is the pit? It's, uh, you know, 15 feet, 10 feet, depending ru- on where ru- you're I run and jump over it. Okay, uh, so it's, it's going to be a little bit tricky, so it's kind of jump up onto this little platform, so it's like one step up, and then leap across. Spider Walker! <laughs> yep. Athletics? Yes. Yes. Do you want to land on, do you want to try and jump? This would be the easier jump. If you made a, I just a wanna, tricky jump, you could land out over here. I just want to beeline it to where... To help your friend. Yeah. So whatever makes sense. 15. To just do a flying leap to get across. All right. Athletics or acrobatics. Yeah, baby. Uh, 25. Yeah, baby. You don't even slow down for a second. Yeah. You just come supermaning your way across or just with a heroic leap. Uh, where do you want to land? Right here. I want to... I want to... I want to ungrapple the snake and instead grapple the snake. Hmm. I'm going to... F- ungrapple, flip, regrapple. Flip the... I'm just... It's going all in about and flipping those script. Flip that script. Yep. Are you still raging? I'm raging. He said one. Oh my god, he is still raging. Okay, so uh, it's an opposed grapple check. DC 16. Hmm. Uh, I'm yeah. feeling you a bit like that. I grapple the shit out of that. So thing. you just, <laughs> you pull that snake out. Literally, so and just like, I'm like tying it in like a bow, like in a cartoon, you know what I mean? At the workshop. It, and and you rip it off the sword so fast, it spins grip. around in a little whirlwind. <laughs> yeah, really and landed. You're tying a knot in it, yeah. yeah. Great. That's outrageous. And, George, and then, uh, and it was his daughter the whole time. <laughs> oh my god! So, and then for my second attack, I'm going to headbutt the body of the snake to try and bludgeon it. Very well. Great. That is fine. Great. Why do I play this game with? Great. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> cheers! Oh, and you can also give your action surge for 24 yeah, hours. Cheers. So do that oh. again. So I'm literally just like, cheers to all of my wonderful players. Well, oh man, I hope the camera's getting some good David expression. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a I should just play it by myself. I should just play it by myself. Because no. what is this? Yeah, okay, that's what, what it's meant for. So so I I headbutt it, and then I kind of feel that there's like, oh, I've tenderized this. And I'm raging. And, I'm, and I take a, a, a little page out of the, my, my buddy's book, uh, uh, Chancho Drift, and I... Bite the snake. Yeah. Bite that snake, baby. And so so on the crit, the damage was six, uh, All dice 12. roll twice. All dice roll twice. I had ro- rolled it once before. Do it again. And then on biting it, <laughs> it is a 18. That's a hit. 18 to bite. That's a hit, my friend, as you sink those pearly whites. For the, another 12 damage. Smooth muscular scale. So it's a total of how much damage? 24. Wow. 24 damage plus my crit card. Which is from oh, Lazigator, no. who happens to be in the chat tonight. So that worked out well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's called, you all like dessert. A Woo. pie materializes from the ether, hitting the target's face and blinding them for their turn. Ooh. Blinds the snake as a pie. Like yes. Warped in from uh, Thunderblood. Slaps. And I have it grappled. <laughs> And so we cannot move. It That's cannot great. move. And it gets. Uh, it can only it t- attack you. Can only attack me, and it takes. Basically. Uh, it has disadvantage on it, or it, people have advantage on it. Yeah, people, you've got advantage to hit it if you oh want to yeah. do that. Oh and yeah. it's got pie in the face. It's got pie in the face. There's how it Second snake behind you right Bond there. Bond build. Uh, pretty hard. Okay. Oh, <laughs> boo. Uh, Mac and Arno. Oh, no, oh, awesome. Hero. Oh, my God. Look at Thank that. You, Wow. Thank you. Big up. Coming out. Coming out, big big. Yeah. For Houston. For Houston. Beautiful. For Houston. Houston. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. The snake behind you is going to lunge up at you as you're distracted. I'm not distracted. I'm perfectly Whoa. focused. <laughs> you know exactly Rolls what's pretty going badly. On. What is your AC? I, I rolled a 15. You I miss this. Uh, I think I do have advantage against you. Do you think or you know? I know. 21. <laughs> that would hit, right? Uh... Yeah, that'll hit. Okay. Or does it, David? Reroll. Uh, <laughs> woo! Oh, everyone drink. Everybody drink. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Yep. Thank you, sir. 16 versus AC. Is that it? Uh, it does not while I'm raging, I don't believe. Check it. Ooh, Check it. Confirm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, then we move on. Make that uh, a little dimmer. It's a little too easy to read. Mm. You gotta save that battery. Save that bat, bro. 
<laughs> All right, guys. Uh, Mac. And that Luther looks like the screen burns out. Right? I think Mac is going to have a bit of a silly turn. And oh, he... good. For once? Yeah. I'm the <laughs> little levity to the game. <laughs> <laughs> and he knows a place that has mushrooms just from the look and smell of it. So he, he, like, he figures it out and then he like looks to Tipsy, who's in the doorway, and he's like, Get in, get the, get the fucking, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. <laughs> and then. <laughs> Clearly, he just, he, he just goes, yeah, 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 and just from the yeah, 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 it's like a pig that's been trained to sniff out truffles. Tipsy is sniffing out the mushrooms as we go from room to room, so I Very assume nice. maybe we found a couple in here. Yep. <laughs> we, we, we a great just, assumption. <laughs> we didn't find any in here. No mushrooms in that room. That's true. That's it? Just looking for shrooms. Just looking for Any shrooms. Any particular kind of mushroom that you're looking for? Are you looking I for delectable the... truffles? Or are you looking for hallucinatory oh, blind agri? What do you think with Mac? Yeah, of course. He's looking. Truffles are good. Oh, no. He's looking for both, actually. Okay. Yeah, I was sorry I'm so rude. Yeah, he's looking for both. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Guys, okay. So uh, <laughs> why don't you roll a d20 to no. determine the quality of mushrooms you find? Yes, this makes sense. Oh. And, Sir, hallucinatory mushrooms, so let's say if you roll 15 or higher, you find whatever you want. It's a 14, so I get to choose. And you find... <sighs> just right Pure there. Poison. Reroll, reroll for the mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Well, I have a reroll. Yeah, Where did you get that from? I got it from, from uh, uh, I think Bastion <laughs> Phils gave it to me. Yeah, one, yeah, yeah. one of our, one well, of our thank subscribers. Him as we oh, my God, it's 15! Yay! Cheers for the reroll. Cheers. 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 You know what you're doing. And David, I think Poor that David. does hit me. The other one. It's already gone. We've already moved past that. Let's go. Okay, you lose. Uh, you lose 15 gold. But I'm still raging, so I half that. So it's seven gold. Uh, it doesn't apply to gold. Sure, it does. It's a, a gain resistance versus all damage except for psychic. Treasure is not psychic. It's not financial. It's the curse. <laughs> financial, man. man. I'm sorry, dude. It's the curse. You got your mind on your money and your money on your mind. You know, Ooh, David, this, is, this is the last time I play oh, honest with no, you. No, fuck you for saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> Do what Matt Cook did, which is just, 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 just lie. Just lie, man. Why is this train moving? Too. Oh, I'll be fine. I got 800 gold, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. <laughs> so just get reckless with it, right? Yeah. I don't. Mm -hmm. How do you have that fuck I'm like, I've been saving. So poor. You find whatever kinds of mushrooms you like. I'm good to my word. Um, truffles and yeah, right. Hallucinatory. Okay. True. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> tipsy. Gently plucks one from the wall with its trunk. <laughs> Can you do it like a funk? Like she like. Yeah. Funk. She like. Mm. Yeah. yeah. She's just little and little that tube them. sort of. You yeah. know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. And then moves that over towards you. It's great. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Brian, how's the mushroom get sucked in? Do oh, the mushroom yes. sound? Of the yeah, thing? mushroom sound. Mushroom getting sucked into a tube. Oh. Boop. That's a good one. That was the best action. <laughs> that is a good one. I hate that you did that one. <laughs> <laughs> Tipsy comes over and drops the mushrooms in your hand. Yeah, and the whole time he's just, oh, yeah, oh, yeah it's good. Oh, yeah, okay. And then you just, you okay, you've got them in your hands. We'll pause there for a moment. Because oh, yeah, he's he's not a, he, he's now single vision on that, Unfor with, unfortunately. With Farl Kane's donation, a couple things happen. A shot has been unlocked for the table. Oh, oh. Farl Kane. Farl What's Kane the, what was unlocked? Shot. Ah, and the shot, people, shot, shot, this, shot, this shot, shot is for shot, the people shot. of Houston, I think. And, Fuck yes, and it is. In yeah. Texas in general. Yeah, 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 of course. He also gives nine re-rolls to the table. Nine! Woo! Oh, nine to be divided times. evenly as possible. Uh, so two each. Two, two, one. I'll do it. Jesus. I'll divide them. Yeah, two. That's... I don't trust you anymore. Pass them down. Pass, Pass them, down. them down. You? Jeez. I'm beginning I'll to take the think. One. This I... is demeaning. Oh, man. Easy two, Harpo. Two, four, six, eight. Oh. <laughs> I'll take the one. Well, because there's more to this. Distribute nine rerolls evenly amongst the table with extras going to David. So I think each of you get one, and I get four. That's not how evenly works. Well, I can't give you each two, because that's right, so there's you no don't extras get to any. go to me. Farrell King, you still in the chat? Let us know. How do you want these distributed? I think he means that you guys get four, and I get, you guys each get one, and I get four. It doesn't so make any sure sense. what he means. He said distribute them evenly, and if there's anything left over, so I think so we we'll all get take, one. So we'll take all of them. One, 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 you know, one, okay, okay, two, okay. three, four, five, six. And then there's three. Seven, eight, 
Nine. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Okay, so including me this time. One, so two, everybody two, give one back. Six. Okay, thank you. Oh, look. He's being nice. I like it. God He's damn sweetie. it. He's a sweetie. Okay. Well, he gave a lot of money, so I gotta be at least respectful. That's true. Okay, so that's. Then we've only given For her now. six. So I have to give out three more, so three between the rest of you guys. You get to decide where you want those. Uh, Farrell Kane says he'll donate more, and then we can each have two. Thank you. And that's oh. awesome. You're rad. Yeah. Wait, we were each supposed to get one? Everybody should have one, and then we'll, there's three left over. Donate more to get two. We can do three, oh. three in the pool of the table. Uh, well, we kind of wait for it. I mean, I believe them, but let's right. Go. But if we do it now, we just get yeah. It then over we with. can just keep going. We'll just keep. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay. That's the other um, thing that happens is a shot is unlocked, which the other thing that means now oh, is that fine. as 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 you as your elephant, as Tipsy sucks at the wall and that mushroom comes off, there's the this piece of brick that it's on begins to shift out as as Tipsy sniffs at it. <laughs> An, an entire secret alcove shifts open, and inside, gleaming in the darkness, is an additional drinking god rule. Oh. Uh, and we don't touch whoa. it. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's automatically activated, mm -hmm. and it's based on any anybody new who has weighed in with the drinking god rule since we started, right? This was the idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah Great. Let's see if that happened. Uh, so we need shots, though? We do need shots. We've got a little human daughter. To kill over here. Oh, cool. Yeah, perfect. I didn't bring any hard stuff because the turkey killed us last yeah, time. Yeah, that was this is a smart move. So we're gonna. These might be. Uh, these will be interesting shots. Is what these will so be. right now we don't have anything from case. someone in, since we started. What? So if you guys put a drinking so god it. rule in the chat, we It'll, will take that. Happen. Next drinking god rule in chat, please. That is viable. It's yes. Not. Yeah, it's really good. Did you do just carrots? What is it? It's carrot, peach, and apple. Yes. Just sip it. I was not prepared. I yeah. No, yeah. I fucking love it. You want me to waterfall it or just regular? Just <laughs> some water. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's great. Nice. Yeah. That's nice. Let me try. Try this. No, I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> Ninja Rock says yeah, drink every choice. time you take damage. That's not going to happen. Because everyone's going to be taking gold damage. Yeah, every time you take Ooh. Ninja Rock, yeah, that is not Come up with something we can use. Flex your creativity. Please. please. Yeah. But use your please words. Think about the players. Think about the characters. Think about what makes you tune in month after month, year after year. Think about something that won't kill us. For Ninja Rock, it might be. Uh, uh, every time person. Mac takes drugs, everyone drinks and he gets an advantage. That's yeah, that's great. fun. Yeah, that's a good oh. one. Okay. You incentivize something horrible. <laughs> Get ready. Yeah, with no, with, he wasn't reacting to anything that was happening at the table. That's true. Yes. <laughs> you were yourself up for mushroom consumption. The other, Whoa! the other. Oh. Nine timer. Whoa. Double G, X, G, I know who that is. So there are two other possible drinking god rules. Okay. One is every time Matt Cook peeks the audio screaming, everyone cheers. Ooh. Which I'm just, guessing means whole. like clinks. Yeah, not just drinks. <laughs> Uh, oh, and then yells every time me. someone oh, argues with David, he and the arguer have to drink. That's, he and the arguer? That's too much of uh, a I'll go down with this shit. Yeah. I'm gonna nix that one. I like the, I like I that like first the, one. Okay. That drugs one. So every time Mac takes drug, mm -hmm. everyone drinks and he gets an advantage. What mm -hmm. about when right. I peek? Now. You but, peeked long ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 He's a oh. bitch tonight. <laughs> you just got clipped, son. <laughs> oh, that's referring to when you peek too. Oh, oh. oh man, nice. this is that club. Oh. Brutal. Can you uh, pass these shots down, Holy my good shit. friend? This is our humidor. Thanks this is God I for the invention of much, lift. Way too much for everyone. <laughs> Drinking a lot of tequila lately. Yeah, been your jam. I was in Mexico City last week. Oh. Baby. What? Oh. Mexico Congrats. City, Thank capital you. of Mexico. For what? The Dairy King? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, Amazon Prime commercial. Hey, shit! Oh. 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 Very fun. That's a joke. Right, right that gravy train straight anything. to the moon, my friend. <laughs> right. I signed it. I signed it. So it feels a little inappropriate, but we should cheers to. Uh, cheers, cheers to, to the safety and yeah. yes, to yeah. the yeah. safety yeah. to those helping Recovery. there, to those everyone helping. helping and rebuilding. Yeah. I saw a really cool video of people saving bats that were trapped yeah. under bridges because the water rises and then they're trapped in little air oh, pockets. So man. people were going under and like coming up in the air pockets and pulling out bats. I love those people. Cheers to how amazing we can be when we 
want to be. When we, yeah. help, yes. when we help each other, I'm sure to be. That. Cheers. cheers. There's a cheers. lot of good in this world. Yeah. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Distance. Cheers. 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 The drinking God rule. No, I didn't peek. no peek. I wasn't trying to peek. <laughs> if you want me to try, I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> yeah, please try. Please. Can we you get there? Can we we'll get, get there? there? Yeah, next you time can't, I kill you something. You can't get there. You can't peek. Come on, man. Who are you kidding? I'd like to see oh. you do it. Okay, okay man. Oh, oh my God. Because it's not That's good. that tequila. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That was tequila, tequila talk. I forgot about that. <clears throat> I'll peek next time I kill something. You the the shrooms land into your hands. Uh, I'm gonna say just because we need a a, a, a shot back. Uh, Mac takes one Jesus. of the one of the shrooms. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. You got advantage now. Cheer. Cheers. You got advantage. Cheers. To the shrooms. Mm. Well, we we've gone off book. Yes. Uh, that really yeah. slowed us down. Oh man, that was hot. I'm going to. Oh, yes. What do you feel these shrooms, these dungeon shrooms, would do to you? Um, are, are they well? Talk to me. Are they like bad or good? Talk to me. Talk to, Talk me. to me. Up or down? Hey. Roll for it. That's a great question. Let's find out. Roll a D hundred for me. Do you have? Well, remember he got to choose there? what he found. Yeah, 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 yes, yes. Okay, roll that up. Remember he got to pick what he picked. One hundred. No. One. Hundred. Well, ten. Ten. Yeah. It ten. would be great if that was hundred. So close. So, but he gets. I to don't pick, understand so how that's not a hundred. Right. How is that not a hundred? Because zero zero exists zero, zero. on this one. Oh yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah. roll roll that then. Because that's a. He gets okay. to choose. What's a hundred? Uh, it was zero, 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 zero. All zeros. Well, uh, one, one is, ten is It's one stupid. Is that's stupid. stupid. Yeah, I know. That's I know. a hundred. No, it's great. It's great. I get it. It's, great. it's, it's the same odds. What would he do with you? That's true. It's the same odds. I can't argue with that. Just right. make it a hundred. <clears throat> They're beautiful. Shiitake oh, mushrooms. Bullshit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to refer to the, <laughs> the, ever handy in, the ever handy indefinite madness chart. Okay. Your belief is being drunk keeps me sane. Establishes itself as a new reality. This sounds like early crit juice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fable. Yeah. Like that's, how, that's how good. And then in right. addition, let's uh, let's do a random magic effect because surely shrooms <laughs> are infused with some sort of magical. <laughs> so give me another. <laughs> what was that? The pass. <laughs> Sorry. Give me another D hundred roll. A new, okay. Yeah, we're gonna see. We're gonna do a random magical effect on top of that. Okay. Five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Not on the chart. I guess nothing happens. Five hundred. <laughs> he did it. I didn't think he could do it. That was fifty percent. Five hundred. Or wait, fifty. Fifty percent. All right. Yeah, it just explodes. I know. I just, I'm gonna try my hardest to get you guys to fly backwards. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking like imperial yeah. soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> At the comm station. <laughs> uh, this is perfect. Uh, you also, as you eat it, so one, being drunk keeps you safe. That is true fact for Mac now. Okay. Until the mushrooms wear off. Two, you enlarge. As if you would cast the enlarged spell on yourself. So you grow, you grow from gnome size to Aguilar size. <laughs> okay. Whoa. I feel, I feel like this is like an Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yes. Yes. Literally, or... You're certainly positive that you have. And you have an advantage. Oh, no. Wait, did he? Or does he think or that? Or does he think he did? Because I need to know that as far as who I'm climbing. <laughs> oh, wow. That's Mac, a good question. Did you, or do you think you did? Oh, no. Or do you think half of you did? <laughs> or is it just your dick? I think I did. <laughs> but you did I think I did. I think I did. So these mushrooms also, are nothing he, but bad news for you, man. He's now wasted. you think you're powerful and you're wasted. You have advantage, yeah. but you think you're my size. No, no, no. I gotta, I gotta yes. give you something awesome for doing that. So because oh, that yeah. was a nat twenty. So I or no, it wasn't. But whatever. It was a nat twenty. Emotionally, it was. It was an emotional nat twenty. <laughs> yeah, I think you you literally the the shroom expands you okay. to the size of Aguilar. Fuck right. right. yes. Your clothes yes. rip off right. of you. Presumably. Hulk style. God, right. giant old gnome dick. And he's, yeah. but it's like a naked Keith Richards. Like, oh, no. But larger. I'll say this. Mac being Mac, he's still a little bit none the wiser. He's looking at Tipsy and just going, you lose weight? 
And Tipsy is looking back at you and going, does Tipsy have some of the shrooms too? He doesn't know. Uh, does no, she wouldn't. Know? She's usually pretty, like, legit, and he's the one that uh, gets Tipsy's, high in his own supply. Is Tipsy straight edge? No. 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 She's just the friend who's in love. Oh. oh. She, that's why she's stuck by him for so not, many years. That's uh-huh. a really heartbreaking <laughs> yeah, she, discovery. You, you just put into yeah. that friendship. So Max is going to be I like, love it though. Little just vomit watches on his him face. and just waits. Oh no. He's going to be like, and he just shirtless Keeps. and vomit and then like, Ryan I can't Reynolds, do this. Ryan Reynolds I can't do this, do this oh, anymore. No. Yeah. So I do it? think, I mean, I, do, I love it. I do think you explode out of your clothing. It's yeah. your stuff. It's your call. That's great. You've got your little feathered hat. Perched yeah. upon your massive gourd. It's getting tighter and <laughs> tighter on my head. <laughs> That's a little yarmulke. <laughs> it's, yeah, exactly. It's a yarmulke placement. Your, your head is almost brushing the ceiling. You don't quite feel that. <laughs> Tipsy looks at you with a... <laughs> uh, no, kind no, of reaction. Together. <laughs> and you realize you've just got to keep drinking. Okay. I get a double GXG has resubscribed and gives a reroll. Me. Hey. hey! Get out! Get out! <laughs> Farrell Kane donates again. Oh, we there it is right there. Everyone should have two rerolls now. Holy! Thank you. Oh, oh. thank you. And who else? Is I have my second order. Hey, there were three at the table already, right? I've got Everybody had one. One, and then these two got the other two. And you got the other one. There you go. Great. Okay, moving on. So. Yeah, who knows? No one even notices that at this point. Roofer, you're up. You would notice Okay, so Roofer is going to uh, peek around here, see kind of the layout of this. You see what's going and on. And I'm going to try an acrobatics, like, off this wall, over this. That totally works. So you're going to kind of kick off and, yeah. and, and do, and do like parkour a, yourself? Yeah, a lot of parkour. In. Oh, yeah. You're the monk, man. Acrobatics, perfect. I need a DC, I think, 15 again for that. Cause it's a pretty 15? Though. Yeah. Okay, that's a crit fail. <gasps> yes. Oh. Skill check. Oh. Yeah, roll. Oh. Achievement. That's got to be achievement unlocked. Anybody crit fail on a skill check yet? That was not. Don't you have advantage? Really. So, you oh, wait. do. Yeah, I do have advantage. As a wood elf monk. I, I forget that you get advantage on these things. Well, now. you've got, and you also have inspiration if you want to spend that, I think, from. Oh, no, you don't, know, but you have uh, rerolls. Do you have advantage on it? Uh, but you can't I don't re-roll think you would a crit fail. You can't use a re-roll token you on a crit fail. Can't re-roll. But you, you have advantage on on that stuff because you're a monk. I don't think you have advantage on that unless there's a particular situation that would come in. So no, I don't think you have advantage on it. I'm trained in it, which gives you a plus to it. But it, I think that crit fail crit still failed. failed. Um, so right. Rufa very confidently steps forward, leaps. Like he's gonna do the most okay. badass like thing and then just slime. right into the roar. Don't worry, I got this. I got it. Great, great, right into this. As you fall you into a bubbling pit <laughs> of green slime that's shot through with like bright pink mm-hmm. uh, veins. Oh, uh, jellyfish shit? Kind of, yeah. I hate jellyfish. You mm. take Why is it gotta be jellyfish? 20 <laughs> points of gold damage. 20 points of 20 gold pieces just evaporate. You'll t- continue to take 20 points of gold. So continue to lose 20 gold pieces for every round that you're submerged in there. That's bad news because since it was a crit fail, I'm going to automatically attack you with the creature that was lurking in those depths. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't do it. No. No, please, David, no. This is, this is the David, honor. No. David, 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 <laughs> yes. It's RuPaul. It's, it's, keep uh, wanting to play. wear like this drag shirt that I have, but I think the pattern would trip out the cameras. Oh. So oh. one way to find out. Yeah. Next time on Crit Juice. A drag, drag shirt. Patterns. <laughs> well, I'll tell them we'll wear our rainbow pasties, too. It'll be a whole mm-hmm. fucking thing. Sounds good right. to me. I would love that. Uh, you feel these... Miss. Things. Lashing numerous yeah. thin Come at me. lashing tentacles start reaching up toward you and yeah. thrashing as what looks like a giant grub worm thrash its way out of the slime towards you and it looks like this. Ew. Comes Aww. and the green and pink Aww. slime is like flying it, off of it. Real gross. Carrying crawl. Carrying crawl. I don't like it. What, what's it what's its attack? 
mods. Uh, I'm not going to give it a free attack on you, because that's bad enough. But I will say it emerges. And, uh... No, you can take a swing. All right, buddy, I will. You rolled it already. I saw that. That one sucked. I do get a second. So oh, first attack. God. <laughs> first attack <laughs> misses. First attack misses. <laughs> second attack. Let me just roll it four times. <laughs> Fourteen probably misses. Misses. Okay. Yeah. Two misses on you. Great. But you do take that 20 points of damage. You're going to take additional damage as long as you're in the slime. So I took one move action oh, you and fell. Your turn. That's right. Correct. Uh, I would like to take another move action to try and climb out of this using the carrion crawler. To climb over it. That's a good idea. To get up and out. Okay. It'll get an attack of opportunity on you. It already it. attacked. It gets a bonus attack. Attack of opportunity is bonus Okay, that's action. fine. Okay, here we go. That's what I like These to These two just need to fuck. Man. Yeah, right? <laughs> is that a drinking god rule? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn it. 18 versus AC? Oh, on the dot. I didn't even have to spend a reroll on that one. I will. Just spend one. Yeah. Oh, I wanted That's to mention right. that. That's right, mother. Come on. Okay. Come, Come on, Daisy. Higher than a 10. A 14. That's another hit. Reroll. <laughs> yeah, we're going to stop this. That's a dime. It's fine. It's fine. All right, that's a quarter. I'll keep that. Thirty-five cents, baby. Now we're oh talking. God. That's <laughs> all getting donated to uh, Harvey Survive. Oh, oh. CBS. Right no, there, you're not spending a reroll on him. So I'll do it. Okay. I'll spend a real real reroll. That is a real real. Okay, we have it's to a drink. Fifty percent chance. That's a Kennedy half dollar. <laughs> that's a hit. Yeah. Did everybody drink for uh, the yeah. reroll? Rerollio. That's a real. Did you bring this from home? What is no, that? No, you gave that to me, <laughs> motherfucker. Don't. When I'm being honest. There we go. Shit on me. That's another hit. The game don't, don't wants worry you to be Well, it's time to die, yeah. accent. <laughs> <laughs> My one-dimensional character. He's one-dimensional. <laughs> oh! Bam, bam, bam. Your roofer takes four points of gold damage. Oh, no. As the thing hits it. Give me my fucking rerolls for four <laughs> points of gold damage? Monster. You're going to be, someday, you guys are going to be in the street, and you're going to be trying to get into that tavern, and they'll be like, covers four gold, and you won't have it. How's oh, that fun? And we'll slip the guy's fucking throat <laughs> in The other thing I need from you is a DC 13 constitution saving throw to see if you are paralyzed. That's a new one. That's what the carrying crawler does. That's what we should have held our rerolls for. Yeah. So DC 13 yeah. constitution save, please. <laughs> It'll be one minute. Nope. And Roofer's body goes rigid what? as he sinks into the slime, which will continue to eat away fish, all man. of the gold on you. One second. I'm waiting. One second. I love being a DM. I'll reroll that. <laughs> yeah, do it. That's, That's not a bad one to reroll. I'll, I'll admit, this is a pretty tough situation. Crit. Woo! Crit. That's what's up. That guy yes! dies. That's that, what's up. That bitch oh, came. That's what's up. Shit, David. David. Shit, David. David. Shit, David. just pisses himself and it just destroys the jellyfish's <laughs> ability to sting. Yeah. And that science, motherfucker. Science you coming say at you. Science. <laughs> I'm going to appreciate that you didn't tell me to eat I feel shit. like Thank at you. all times, eat there's shit. little slingshots of like l like things being... Yeah, I'm just sitting over here like, just getting like, like blank, 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 All right, all right, in all lines. seriousness, in all seriousness, eat shit. <laughs> oh, one of my favorite lines from movies <laughs> is uh, Sleepaway Camp. You guys ever see Sleepaway Camp? I love Camp? Sleepaway Camp. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the Where eat they shit eat and shit and die, shit. and then they say, eat shit and live. Thank you. Thank you. This is where I like to be. Okay, so Rufer, you, you were hit with these tentacles. They do no damage to you, essentially. You do lose four yeah. gold pieces. You're not paralyzed. You can attempt to escape from this. I would love to do that. Okay. Um, I'm going to need a DC 10 athletics. Uh, yeah, athletics check. Athletics, not acrobatics? I don't think you... Oh, because you wanted to... Yes, that was. you said you wanted to use its body to get yeah. off of it. So acrobatics is okay. DC 10. Natural one. A two. Yeah! So now I'm just like standing on it. Right? It's still in the pit, right? Yeah, still in the pit. Okay, yeah, that's great. Oh. Okay, so you are safe. Ah. You're gonna take. You're gonna lose another twenty points of gold. That happens. Of Good thing I have a ton of it. You guys have a ton of gold, but a little less than you used to have. Back to the top of the order, Zordicus. Okay, Zordicus has a quick question. Maybe you forgot from last round. Where's Austin? Where's Austin? The Manticore that loves him. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What was oh. Austin's situation? So Austin is, thank you that for reminding me. Single that, like, DTF. Yeah. Yeah. 
Is he it, would be, he'd be charging through he to would, get these snakes. He would be, huh? This uh, Manticore loves you that much? Oh, with the whole thing. He was the character love, that like, they David. Uh -huh. fell in love with me. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's Sorry, right. I just want to make sure how you guys get your money's worth. That's right. Thank you, guys. David hates your choices, but. Mm -hmm. No, it's good choices. Yeah, so Austin the Manticore has been hanging out back here in the entryway, watching this madness go down. Sure. Okay, yeah, it would charge. It would. I agree. It would charge. Yeah. Towards you. And if it has to step on Roofer to get over the pit, <laughs> so be it. A roofer is safely out of the way. Nah. In the Just way submerged in acid. <laughs> in the way, blocking the one doorway is an Aguilar sized gnome. Sucking his fingers uh, the, from like the Naked. mushroom off his fingers. Yeah. yeah. Naked. And then across the pit it can get, and then there's an Aguilar sized Aguilar mm -hmm. blocking the other way out of the pit between you and it. So I think the both of you guys are gonna get buffeted to the side as a manticore comes blasting through with one thought on its mind. Golden Corral buffeted? You know, yes. <laughs> Hometown buffet. Oh buffet. man, we gotta go. We group trip the cool oh, I would love it. it. I'll, I will I'll do be upset, trip. but I'll go. Like, where's the that or a soup guys, plantation? We, go, we sit down there, we no. play for six hours at a Golden Corral. Oh my just, god. As long as that you can put chocolate pudding on that salad. That's <laughs> <laughs> all the weirdest thing in the world. That's what it's to That'll be my question next time. What do you guys get? What, do you, what would your character get at Golden Corral? Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> so Hepatitis. Yeah, <laughs> salmonella. <laughs> Man, of course, uh, what is your uh, AC, please? Uh, oh, yeah! Mac, Mega Mac? Uh, -oh. uh 15. Uh, Mega Mac. Mac. 15. Mac. 15. Oh. 15. Okay, so you get knocked to the side by this, uh, this Man, of course. Okie dokie. What is your AC right now? 16. Okay, you're gonna take 10 points of gold damage. Woo! Man, of course. 16. Pricey! It slams into you from behind. It's... I can't get by you. So this manticore is stuck, thrashing around overhead. Wouldn't he run into the snake that I'm grappling to? Yeah, I guess he would. Yeah, why don't we text that guy a little bit? So a manticore is flapping above your head in this is this. And the manticore has an advantage to hit, hit the to hit the snake. Please save him. Uh, it's <laughs> flapping right above Roofer's head. It's slashing with its long black claws at the snake that you're grappling with. Yeah, good call. Good call, Zordicus. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so... It's your turn, right? Don't Zordicus's turn. turn. What do you do, sir? You see the manticore. Austin the manticore. Now, the, Screeching. the manticore also has the ability to shoot... Yes, it can fling iron sh uh, spikes from its tail. So A limited number. They able to charge up and is able to shoot at the other snakes. I can't really get so. I think Aguilar is pretty well blocking. Is an Aguilar that. an ally? What's that? Yeah, Aguilar is an ally. Well, I don't know. A manticore that's obsessively in love with Zordicus. Ally? I yeah, that. I'd let him in the bar. You let him in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you got lost your job as a bouncer. I think. Yeah. A dangerous mm -hmm. manticore comes Come in. Up. in. Okay, so you let him. You're not carrying any dangerous iron barbs, are you? <laughs> you are. All right, well, just be but cool about it. But you love my friend. It, are yeah, you gonna just, fling him at anybody? Just be cool about it. Okay. <laughs> so you let the screeching manticore by. Ha 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 ha! Something like that. Burst through and uh, yeah, is tearing at the snake on your neck. Because we we know that he's in love with him. Yeah. That is okay. Zorica's taking full and you guys, if there's anything you guys respect, it's love, the love between a man and a manticore. manticore. Yeah. Well, yeah. that and a yeah. manticore. Man yeah. loves a manticore. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Zorica's the manticore comes in and starts slashing at that snake. Do you want the? I'll, I'll roll for that, I guess. Yeah, see baby. what it does. Ooh, that's that's a four. Sorry. So it it starts flinging barbs. Yeah. All right. You do love. Yeah, you yeah, do yeah. love. Yeah. It starts flinging. Love it. That's a seven. That is still a miss, unfortunately. Oh my god, Austin does love you. That's another seven? Yeah, uh, Hey, I chose my bastard dice tonight. Yeah. Loves me, hates you. Thank you, bastard dice. That's another reroll. Uh, everybody get a drink queued up for all these rerolls. That's an 18. Oh. Yeah, baby. yeah, baby. Thank you, dice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Clink, clink, clink. Clink. The manticore comes slamming into the snake and starts attacking it with uh, iron barbs. Yeah. Iron barbs. Flinging iron barbs, which hopefully won't miss it, and just hit that snake, which they do. Uh, 
close up on snake skin of a, the undulating coils of a massive python mm. being pierced over and over by iron barbs the size of railroad spikes being driven into its side. Hell yeah. Can snakes scream? Snakes. Yeah, dude. Let's yeah, find out. Sure. Oh! Oh! It's it was okay. like, is that the table? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That happens. Uh, the snake screeches, a horrible screech, as it is badly injured by those attacks. Zordicus, it is your turn, but Austin is doing its best to get it off of you. The snake is still alive. Okay. So the snake is on Aguilar. I have one pin. One's the second one attacked on the right. Oh. Wait, what? Yeah, I the, took the one other one attacked but missed, didn't it? So. I have one. The one that was choking him, you, you I unpinned it and bow tied him. Yeah. So that's true. So you're not pinned by that one. The other one attacked you and missed. So I guess the Manticore attack, yeah. Okay. Or attack Aguilar and missed, huh? So it's probably attacking the one that Aguilar is hiding for not. <laughs> oh, he's a Okay. I had, I had injured that one, too. Okay, Being so more baby I'm sorry. he's peeing in the fridge. <laughs> Again. Tom, you're pissing in the fridge. <laughs> this didn't happen! <laughs> you're still in frame. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm lost. Um, <laughs> okay, that's so. A, that's a Zordy Kiss laugh, I think. Yeah. Drink. Uh, All right. Yep. yep. Damn it. I bet drink. Well, Zordicus, because he's crazy snakes and he's got Aguilar and the Manticore, he's like, oh man, I don't want to die. So all of a sudden he's going to like, in this little space, start to like, shift back and forth. And then all of a sudden you see four Zordicuses. And that's what Is he a Simpsons quote? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like, I'm seeing double. Double. Four, four Zordicuses. Well, <laughs> Matt could say that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So all of a sudden... Four images of Zordicus, the most terrifying thing I can imagine. He's <laughs> crawling <laughs> through the muck. <laughs> I've got one, actually. Good. Good job, Tom. I still gotta go pee. <laughs> Bye, Tom. Bye. Um, so, yeah, in his space, so it's him smearing. and three duplicates. Tom! Is, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm oh, my so God. Excited. He I thought got you said so dog. excited. <laughs> I thought it was Tom. He Come on. Four Zordicuses mm -hmm. burst into being. Yeah. And uh, so does anything happen on this turn? No, it just it's, makes it hard for me. If you attack, we'll go from there. Great. Okay. Avatars of Chaos. It's a mirror image of that same. Pretty good, though. Chancho, you're on. I miss my Avatars of Chaos. Uh, okay, great. <laughs> Someone clip that. I do. I miss it. Uh, great. So I'm going to go. I'm going to jump up onto this ledge. How close is. Uh, uh, Roof to me. Oh, close. I mean, uh, six, seven feet down into this pit of slime. He's six or seven feet down. All right. I think so. It's a kind of. A, it's got to be kind of a deep pit, right? You fall into a pit. How have I done slow fall? I'm uh, kidding. Just, that one I don't. So yeah. I'm gonna drop my rope. Oh no! I'm gonna, <laughs> I always have my. And this is check. You can check the crit wiki. I always have my rope tied in a loop. Check the crit wiki. And I'm gonna drop my loop down, and I'm gonna hook. Him with it, and, and then real hard sh push back off, like like Neo, Gret holding on to the thing. Oh wow! That's right, I'm gonna do that sort of like goom like that, yep. oh. and then pull him up. That's right? a cool move. Okay, so you're looping it over him, right on his neck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a. We've got help right, because honestly, if I kill him, I get his gold, and that makes me stronger. <laughs> so it's win-win. Either I keep my guy that gives I me too many to fucking business role. cards, or I get his gold. <laughs> so a good either curse. way. I like this. Uh, what skill would you use to try and quickly uh, tie a lasso loop? And then no, it's already it. tied. You always keep it tied in the lasso? Yeah. Check the wiki. I'm a fucking wi I'm a person from the forest. That's what I do. Which skill though? Is this just you got a last one though? What do you think? I would take survival or dungeoneering. There's not dungeoneering. acrobatics. That's like fucking dexterous and like. No, fuck, fuck. no. There's we no dungeoneering it. either, so I guess I can choose what I want. Don't we call it dungeoneering? Nope. Anymore? Oh no. my god, I do, fucking hate it. Do history. Uh, survival. History, bro. I'm taking max sheet. Survival is hand. probably the best one. Nature. God, don't say nature, David. Just straight up dex, for a ranged attack. I might have to take acrobatics. Acrobatics. Right? That means the most. That makes the most sense. It's like things in motion. Yeah. I'll do acrobatics. To quickly tie a knot. I guess so. It's a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Where's he getting this from? <laughs> I love that shot. Can we clip that? Yes. <laughs> He's like... 14. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'll allow that. Okay. He's right there. You're being badass. Have I given you inspiration yet? No. That's a pretty badass. Not thing once. Oh, Thanks. <laughs> what does this do? Uh, you can roll 2d20 on cool. any check. Got it. And take the higher. Great. Thank you. Okay, you hurl that lasso down right over the chest under one arm, and you yank Roofer up and Yay. out of the muck, the slime. You guys both pull backwards onto the uh, ground. Great. And that's kind of, uh, well... That's probably a turn. That's my turn, right? Yeah. I think that's your turn. That's a lot. Aguilar. Okay, great. Move on. <laughs> All right, so... <coughs> the two of you go the... pull backwards onto the dungeon floor. He's covered in muck. And when they so look at each other for a second. They fall and they kind of like lay Would together. They just are like, <laughs> and they have that moment where they look at each other and the music swells. And there's a moment like, are they going to kiss? Yeah. End credits. Then I have oh. goes, keep walking, dog. And then the dog's like, who are you talking to? Yeah. It's part of this movie. <laughs> that all happens. That all happens. And Zorda kisses his mind. <laughs> yeah. And Austin's like, uh, wait, Zorda, Zorda kiss. Dreamy. One of the four Zorda kisses. <laughs> <laughs> all four are describing four different Netflix Adam Sandler movies. Oh. But somehow they all, they they all have, have an excessively all, hot wife. Yeah, Selma Hayek, Malin Ackerman, and the rest. <laughs> and at some point they all they, at some point they all sync up so you realize it's the same like by act two it becomes the same movie. You're channeling some sort of mad genius. For, I mean, every night, but I'm into it. Yeah, I'll watch all these movies. Yeah. Yeah. So, Some, someone does. Aguilar. That's me. Uh, is the, the, the snake that I was grappling with, is he dead? Did, did Austin kill him? Or is he still yeah, alive? you were grappling with him, you did damage to him? I do think so, yeah. Alright, so I, I get up, still raging, see the other mm -hmm. snake that's tried to bite my friend, and I'm just gonna go with my great axe and Shing, shing, shing. Three, three attacks, all three. Oh my god, yeah, roll that Going, up. raging, advantage on all of them. So the first one is a 19. What's it hit? Uh, all right, that's 15 damage. Wow. Uh, the second one is a 13. Okay. Uh, ooh, let me check if that's a hit, actually. It's a hit. Uh, that was 12 damage. Okay. And the third one was a hit, is a hit, uh, for, eh, gross, four damage. And you got to do I could make you reroll those, but I'm not going to bother. Okay, that's With not bad surgery. damage. 20. With 32 points attacks. of damage on that turn? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's so I just, great axe. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, that's what a great axe sounds like when yep. you hit a giant it's, snake with it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it screeches, falls back. It's it's bloodied for sure. For great. real. It is a. It, you're, what would it look like? Imagine just a boa constrictor there and just hacking at it with machete. Yeah. It's gruesome. Violet just taking chunk, chunks out of it. It hisses, rears its head back, and attempts to sink its fangs into it. And it does so. Into Aguilar? Uh, no, into, uh, yes, into Aguilar. Okay. Yeah, okay. absolutely into Aguilar. Um, you're, are you still raging at this point? Yeah. Sucks for me. And as, well, <laughs> Takes, a, yeah. as a reaction, mm -hmm. I can reduce damage. Uh, are you I'm, doing so? I am doing so. Okay. Uh, you take 16 points of damage. 16 is the total, the, nor the first total. Yeah. So that would have been 8 because I'm raging. Yep. And I take zero because I reduce you take, thirteen of it. You them. lose no gold. However, I you gain five temporary hit points. Right? You gain so money, five buddy. Gold, That's five gold interest. pieces drop into your pouch. Great, I'll take it. Uh, you are, however, grappled by the snake. Ooh, as the grappler, the I don't get grappling. to oppose it. <laughs> no, because oppose strength check. It hit on its roll. So uh, unless Randy your feet Smith lets you do grapples. that. I'm a, uh, I don't know. They, they're kind of mushroom. Uh, feet don't fail me now. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> you gain oh. advantage on attacks versus foes. You grapple and grapple. Nah, it isn't. Okay. It. All right, so I'm grappled. You are grappled. Um, in the grapple. Dude, they flipped your script, dude. I flipped your script on Jaguar. Gotta flip that script. Sight loser. Matt, you're up. 
Okay. Script flipper. Yeah. <laughs> you are a script flipper. <laughs> <laughs> Mac takes out his loot and as a free action to sort of he just uh, get his interest. Keep Starts. in mind you're a giant naked gnome. I know. Who must stay drunk to be sane. Yeah. Okay. Loot comes out. It is. He has no interest in maintaining loot, his sanity. Which is like a guitar in your hands before. Is now like a less than a ukulele. Yes. A little cigar box. Great. Uke. Yeah. That makes this moment extra insane. <laughs> uh, he starts strumming a horrible song of his. Um, that. It was in a period of his career where he was just like, again, I mean, I feel like I've said this many times, but he's desperate for money, so he, he's just like scrambling and being like, what do you guys like? Hear this. He started to cater towards like weird creatures at one point, mm -hmm. so he wrote a song for Carrion Crawlers to the tune of Van Halen's Right Now. Carrie yes. and Crawlers? C Carrie and her Crawlers. Oh, okay. No, Carrie and Crawlers. Great cover band. Yeah. I know. Uh, You've written a song for Carrie and Crawlers. Yes, and this isn't anything. This is just like his free little. He hasn't done anything yet, but it'll be real quick. Don't worry. Good, good. Yeah, please. <laughs> We've got a game to get to. Dead flesh. Hey, it's really tasty. Dead flesh. Hey, hey. it's everything. Dead hey. flesh. Hey. hey. I got some above the surface. If you come check it out, maybe you, you'll eat dead flesh. <laughs> that is best. insane. You did probably for that. Best. Did I give you inspiration to spend yet? Yes. Oh, oh no, you gave me some. You can only have it once, so. Okay. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Give him a reroll, David. What? Come on. That's not my power, that's Chat's power. What? What is the goal of you playing the that? The goal. <laughs> Good question. Yeah, I'm right? so glad. It's someone else's turn now. I'm trying to get the carrying <laughs> crawler out. I'm just trying out. to get my, my turn over. I'm trying to draw it out to go, hi, and then punch it. Like a brain <laughs> bag. Well, you definitely draw it out. That song, no question, you've written it for carrying crawlers. It comes crawling out over Aguilar's bot. Where, where are you? Oh, you're over here. So ignoring Aguilar into this room. You, you'll have to step over the prone friend of yours. Roofer and Chancho. They're so small to you now. They can't, I can't really be them. Mm -hmm. The carrying crawler comes squirming up, countless little tendrils flailing about, scum flying off of them. Mm. And then just laying into it with a punch. Okay, we'll roll an attack roll. So how would I gauge that? Because A, I've transformed in size, and oh, B, God. I don't, I'm not a brawler. I don't usually use melee. So no. what, can, 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 is there a special role that we can, I don't know. What You're do like you an El Cabong, this guy? Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Cause he's like a bard who hit people. Right, yeah. We can ah. say that he uses his little loot, yeah. If you use your loot, you'll probably break it, but I'll give you Force a bunch hammer. of bonuses on it. He's broken it a bunch of times. Okay, so. Uh, he, He'd often what is your show normal break plus it before the concert started? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're supposed to do that at the let's end. Let's give you, let's say you have a plus six to hit right okay. now because you're a giant man. Okay. Uh, and then your damage will just uh, triple it. Okay. It's a two. Oh, Great. Wow. So you swing and you smash your oh, ukulele. Use your, your inspiration. Use your, your inspiration. inspiration. Use your inspiration. Use inspiration. So you get to reroll your d20 and use the higher result. I'm hoping it's a one. It's two ones. I was right. Very That's good. a hit. You succeed, yeah, idiot. You swing and you miss. You come back around. You smash your uke across its head. It's your mandolin, really. Your loot. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you guys think was loot damage? D10. I'd say D8. Yeah. D8. D20s. D20s. D8. Do three Six. D8. Six. Oh, three D8. I'm tripling your damage here. Uh, that's uh, ten. Total of 10. Mm. Okay. Plus your, what is your normal strength mod? Is a minus uh, one. Yeah. I'll give you a plus four on that because you're a giant now. Okay. So 14 points 14. of damage. Yeah. God, he loves you. Yeah. I know. Got to give him this guy something. Well, I, told, I didn't tell him to eat shit at one point. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's an um, uh, that helps. I make I'm a mental note that. of that. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, looking back, <laughs> each, I would like you to eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I am, actually. I will yeah. say. That is uh, shit. That tastes like shit. That tastes like sun-dried uh, shit. 
So Bastion fills in the chat right now. Just Bastion. said, loot that body. Yeah. <laughs> Which Hell yeah. Is, you smash that guitar over its face. That that mandolin. That, that loot. That loot. Oh, did he spell it as yeah. loot? Yeah. yeah. That was the joke. It. Love yeah. it. That's yeah. what makes it amazing. Its nose, like like a puppy that's been smacked in the face. Jesus. How do you know? <laughs> That's oh, a fair question. Now you're on the I'm shit kidding. list. I'm kidding. You guys have never I'm actually totally been, you guys have never actually been playing with a puppy and then like don't, just, David, don't you have the special boots that it? have a dog nose heel imprint? <laughs> I know what you're saying. And you accidentally you're goofing around too much and you actually knee it it's like really, yeah. really hard right in the muzzle. And it's like mm-hmm. And you feels good and you go maybe No, you Oh no. no Usually when I play with puppies, Something sometimes they tonight. bite me and I'm like, ow and they're like, oh, I'm sorry. That's when you give him a good bop. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I, I would never. It's I would never. I would never. Uh, it, we're with a cats. whimper. And cats. The, <laughs> I'd kill a cat. There's, there's yeah, more than one more way to skin Oh, no, cut just, <laughs> just cut out. <laughs> Brian would be like, I'd kill a cat. No, I'm kidding. I did. We're still here. The carrying <laughs> crawler. <laughs> the gut. gut. The carrying crawler recedes into the muck. No. Disappearing into it's all the hairlines. Thank you for your patronage. If you paid for that album, it's kind of just a mindless worm beast. <laughs> <laughs> mindless, you don't but no, he might have been a fan of that album. Not soulless or heartless. Well, it only had, it has an intelligence of one, so it probably was. That's true. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, wait, God, that's, that's a closer. Closer. compliment. Ow. Jesus, no, it's just a straight up a lower intelligence, <laughs> a bigger fan. Of, okay, mm-hmm. you guys. The threats seem to be vanquished, unless someone wants to plunge into the slime after the character. David's in a fucking mood. Nah. <laughs> He's a bitch How, why, could, why could that be? Why could that be? Why, why could that be? Why could that does be? he feel besieged by I don't know, know, five just, men? Just, 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 just eat a little 20s? bit of shit yeah. and no, we'll all get we, over I, it. We rolled several ones tonight. <laughs> we, just, we rolled very low. We spent let's go. almost all of our rerolls. All right, I'm moving you guys into this room. Thank yeah. God. Wee. The snake recedes. Yeah, the baby. giant snake uh, that was getting its ass kicked climbs back into that banyan tree, squirms away to safety. That's right. You guys managed to get across the slime pit. As you gather in the circular room with the dragon statue, mm-hmm. you notice that the chanting has stopped. And the coin's gone. Oh, the coin is gone. Yeah, the, coin does, yeah, the treasure chest probably is gone. Uh, as you guys noticed that the... No, it just fell. Mm-hmm. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we're back. Let's make sure we get that treasure piece. Yeah. We're going to need it. Our lives depend on it. <laughs> uh, you notice that the cultists who were gathered in that room chanting are no longer there. As the clamor of battle Creepy. dissipates, that room is empty now. Mm-hmm. Creepy. It is creepy. There is a treasure chest, I guess. Yeah, you found it. Correct. Sitting, nestled in the crook of this damaged dragon statue's arm. Just waiting. I'm going to go up to it. So you're a little happily? Yeah. When this thing is like 15 feet tall? Great. I'll boost them. Uh, oh, how about that? That works. Uh, can I take a look at it? Of course you can. To check for traps? Check for traps, sure. Stealth? Uh... Oh slide of hand. Slide of step. I would take slide of hand. Oh wait, I'm sorry. What is it? Stealth? Is it stealth? Stealth or slide of hand? Stealth. Do stealth. So. Good. That's why I'm trained it. Uh, I'll do stealth too. I got everyone does stealth. Got 14. Look at it. I got. I got 20. I gotta give you disadvantage on that because your tension is really, Austin is really keeps, every time you like look away, Austin like hits you on the shoulder. It's like, <laughs> all right. the second one. But I have an advantage on it. So it cancels out. So just a 20. Great. <laughs> As Zordicus knows. Yeah. Zordicus can see. <laughs> uh, uh, you rolled a 14. Yeah. And you were checking out as well? Huh? You were checking out can I? as well? Can I? Yeah. Of course you can, yeah. If you want what to. do I roll? Uh, stealth. Case. 14. Okay, 14. Uh, 
To, yeah, it looks like it's not trapped. Sorry, because it's totally trapped. Okay. It's not trapped at all, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> there's absolutely, you guys look at the box, there's absolutely no traps on the box, and that's a true statement. Sorry, kid, goes <laughs> over to it. My <laughs> turn, guys. <laughs> drink Aguilar. Drink. Aguil yep, everybody drink. Aguilar oh, oh might as well. God. Aguilar has boosted so Chancho up. So Chancho, you'd be the closest. Uh, Rufer, you must be right by, by him, right? Yep, I definitely looked at it. Great. So you're probably up on your tiptoes a little bit. Peering. Ooh, like a and it's a treasure chest? Yeah, it's an actual like treasure chest. Because Ordekis thinks about it as. Uh, I'll, I do a perception check on Zordicus, because this seems weirder than normal for him to keep telling us things. Does that seem weirder than normal? Weirder than normal for I him to know. talk to us. Well, I don't know. Previously, he was he just went on for the last 25 minutes about he's never Adam worked. Sandlar. <laughs> yeah. he, he, he's never worked as part of a team. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, is that, is that uh, yeah, yeah, perception check. Zordicus would be just sorry, mumbling about a boo. Uh, 14. I don't even know what I have to do this again. So you gotta do a persuasion. De deception. Or, or deception, yeah. I'll take that? deception. No, oh, I'm trained in deception. That, so good luck! Not. That is why no one's noticed that you're a poor See, you gotta roll. You gotta roll it. Oh. Unless it's over 14. Face. Oh, you did it. Unless you wanna reroll. Or unless nah, I wanna make you reroll. Oh, yeah, reroll. You don't have any coins, coin, coin, man. Cash it in. I, got to, I just did. Yeah, yeah, he. It's a 21. <laughs> Nothing, man. Zordicus so wants weird. to. There's a part of Zordicus that wants to tell you, but there's yeah. another part of Zordicus that does not. All right. And that part wins. Then Zordicus, uh, as he's watching, he gets closer. All of a sudden, his hand just shoots out and goes, It is a trap. He's like, No, no, <laughs> no. Just kidding. <laughs> he stops oh talking. God. And he goes, Adam Sandler, he's, he's on a boat, and hit the boat starts to sink, and then Rob is like, Whoop! Like, Austin is shut, shut your mouth. Austin can't uh. get enough. The manticore is, is yeah. and like staring at you dreamily, staring at your pecs. Yeah. I don't know if Zordic has got pecs, but whatever. Uh, does it look like the chest is balancing on the statue, or is it? Yeah, like it's like the, part of the statue is quite old, and the chest is also old, but not nearly. Like oh, you know what I could do. If we have any debates, I've got mice that are trained to thatch things and go into places and like do oh. stuff. We could it's definitely. not a trap. The chest is not trapped. I'm just going to knock the chest off the dragon That's statue. Perfect. But I'm going to take my short sword, I'm going to put it under it, and I'm going to go thump, and I'm going to knock it off so it falls to the ground, and we can all look through it together. It falls to the ground. There's no problem. As it falls off, the dragon's Comes statue off. arm shifts down. That's the trapped part. And the dragon jaw... So it falls open, and a gout of acidic uh, mess spews out over That's, everyone who's close oh. to it, which is certainly Chancho, Aguilar, and Rufer. I need a DC 18 reflex save. Did Zordicus move away? Zordicus? How close are you to the statue? You knew it was trapped. Well, with Zordicus. <laughs> oh, you dick. <laughs> what? You rock. I got the four Zordicuses. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. so we'll say, well, I would be. Here, still, you roll a d20, let me know what you got. Okay, I roll a d20 and let you know what I got. <laughs> what, 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 oh, what he doesn't like that. Oh, he doesn't oh, like script that. Script flip. <laughs> We're going to script, script flip. Quick flip. flip in the script. Like, <laughs> what do I have to be? Flip uh, the script flip. You have to roll a five or less. I rolled a 15. Okay, so this is just one of the duplicates that will... One of the duplicates gets just, like, screams and its flesh is melted off and it <laughs> disappears and, like, Zordicus is back there being like, nah, I still I'm have to take I'm looking at the, the Twitch. Uh, What's it say? Headphone warning. Gonna get loud. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That, that appears a lot. That comes the up a lot. The duplicate. That's so telling. Still has to take the attack and if it still hits him... Oh, I still have to roll for that. Uh, so it's a so, so make a reflex saving throw. DC 18 reflex save. Sancho Aguilar. Rupert. I crit. Oh. Ho! Oh. You just for you hear that grinding of stone and your animal instincts kick in and you spring to the side as the gout of acid spews forth. Save. 
save Aguilar? Because well, uh, I get it rolled twice, right? I get advantage on saving throws for I like don't know, Monk's dex well, but and wisdom, it, dex and strength. Oh, you get advantage on it? You certainly are trained in it, so you get a boost on that. You can apply your what is it, a deck save? It doesn't give you advantage, though. That doesn't give you advantage? What's the little thing? It lets you add your proficiency modifier to it. Oh. So it lets you have a plus four. Oh, or whatever that would be. I mean. Plus four, plus five. <laughs> 16. Failed. 20 points of gold damage. Whoa. Acid splashes over you. I'm wrong. What, it, what, what did what I have to hit? To seven. 16. I do not make it back. I hit 16. But you can't be 18. on it. Oh, it's 18. 18. Yeah. 20 points of gold damage. You lose 20 My points gold. of gold. It's seared away. Does, any, is anyone out of gold? Does anyone even know? Zordakus's no. duplicate wouldn't have gold, so he's gone. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll accept that. Mm -hmm. uh, the acid eventually <laughs> slows to a stop. It pools around your feet. You but the treasure okay. chest is open. Yeah. Or it, it hits the ground anyway. Uh, Let's loot it real quick while it's gone. Right? Not much in it. <laughs> oh. All that you guys find in it. It's a single metal kazoo. He's been there in front of us. He's like the alchemist the whole time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It looks untouched. It's beautiful. It hasn't been... No one's ever played it. It looks like it gleams even in the darkness. Is this the bard? Give thing? it to the bard. Yeah. The giant oh, bard. Uh. As the bard picks it up with his two Ooh. massive fingers. Uh. It's so tiny too. Carries so much weight. Insight, though. you immediately, your mind, you flash back. It's like maybe you knew it all along. Maybe it was a half forgotten legend you picked up in bard school. Maybe it has just imprinted this knowledge on you now. It's the kazoo of answers. Oh, the cancer. The <laughs> kazoo of answers. <laughs> you, can, you can ask questions of it, and you have a chance to get a true answer back. Wow. It can only be used once per day, well, or per session, essentially. And the way it works is, I will tell the owner of the kazoo, in out of character, what the answer is, and you can try and communicate it to the rest of the group mm. via kazoo, mm. Mm. through the plane of a kazoo. So you'll have to think about how you want to phrase your question. Yeah, yeah I'll, need to, I'll, I'll need that. Okay. The kazoo of answers. Sweet. That's all that's in that chest. Do you tell us about this bard legend? What do you mean? So that we know what that is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is special. <laughs> but all we is giant and naked. All we yeah. hear is... <laughs> burr, burr, burr. <laughs> like, <laughs> Austin <laughs> is trying to like your friends. Mm -hmm. he, he's putting on like a real life. I'm trying to like my friends. So this, okay, okay. I'm not cool. It's like, oh no, no, don't worry. It's like, just, we just got to hang out with this and then there'll be like a game night. But other than that, Once per session, if you guys have a question you want to ask, Tom, being the current possessor of the kazoo, can ask me. Okay. We'll tell him in secret. Are you really the guru of the quickie mark? <laughs> <laughs> you? You, you? You? Yes. You, really? really? <laughs> yes. Thank I you. hope this has been most enlightening. Like <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> my people. <laughs> so, once per session, you can use it. You ask a question. I will tell you the answer, but the only way you can communicate that answer to everyone else is through playing of a kazoo, through right. like essentially interpretive dance and kazoo playing. I don't want to use it yet, but can someone do a test question to then so we can. See the sound. I think that's thing. fair. I have no idea see if this works or not. Um, I was really debating between buying you guys a kazoo and a slide whistle. I'd say the great test question would be something, I don't know how to phrase it, but if you play like a high note, it's a yes. Or a low or note. One buzz or two buzz. Yeah, yeah. But if he asks a question of more like uh, a direction or whatever. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. fun. But like, Cause anybody got a mystery of. The world to answer or ask. Hmm. Will Will Zordicus and Austin end up together in the end? That's up to Zordicus. <laughs> oh, it's, this is not what I expected. Other way. Great kazoo. Other so, way. No, it's yeah, me. I'm I'm I, 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 I kazooing. Is it the wrong way? Is wrong way. way? No. 
No, no you right, do like the there. small. You do small. How would it be? So, it would be smaller. Yeah. You do the big, big end, end? Yeah. and then you can this play. This is one. new to me. You can play the three yeah. little no, that, dots. Are, right? Up is holes. down. Left yeah. is those right. Oh, oh, they are. <laughs> hum. Yeah. Hum. 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 There you go. Yeah. But try talking while humming. Yeah. 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 Say yes. Say my name is Tom Pons. My name is. All right. This is like EVP sessions. Yeah, that'll be easy. So that's the kazoo, uh, kazoo of answers. Kazoo of answers. So this is the kazoo session. Of Tom can ask a question oh. anytime you want uh, to know anything. Once a day. Once a day. <laughs> I didn't get I'm that. Here. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. And you is that you guys, I watch a lot of ghost adventures. <laughs> Speaking kazoo? The room? I played a lot of banjo kazooie. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. The room up ahead where the cultists were gathered is empty. Phaedra's on. <laughs> nice. The room beyond. Oh, really? Niles. <laughs> is it okay? Yeah, yeah, it's bring it, okay bring it back next month. Yeah, that was okay. what was in the chest? Yeah. That yeah, was all that there was. Yeah. That the only Just thing? the kazoo of truth. And so 20 it. gold of damage. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and I sh yeah. Uh, the room up ahead, as you, so you guys enter there, all that's left are the... the there's two little um, braziers, little open metal pots with coals burning in them. Mm -hmm. These greenish flames casting an ethereal light. Mm. Nothing else at this point, just scuff marks in the muck. And then a single doorway leads through a s almost totally submerged room beyond. Mm. But magic seems to be holding the waters back. There's an open path. Oh, this? Yeah, it, 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 so it's like you see, it's just dark, and there's the water down here. I say water, but it's like. What are you muck. waiting for? Hey, this is how we talk. <laughs> <laughs> Mucky swamp water, dark brown, brackish, gross ooze that you can't even see through, has been separated by magic clearly to form a dry path. I mean, I guess the floor would still be kind of slick, gross algae. So it's a recent magical path. Yeah. Uh, and you do see s slithering marks upon it that leads down. I want to chase down that real fast. Heedlessly? Heedlessly. Perfect. You go charging down the path. What would the rest of you guys do? I sort of heed the path. So then Roofer gets there first, and you're fast anyway, so you get there first anyway. Roofer comes skidding around the edge, the corner. At a speed of there's not, And we know there's nothing left in that big room where all the cultists were. Do yeah, we perception it's check? Empty. But we're certain of that. Uh, I mean, other than the, the flickering dick. braziers. Oh, well, you do notice, I guess, on the wall, that's a great question, um, the mosaics, the old ancient mosaics there, of, uh, uh, again, dragons. There seem to be massive dragon forms and, and uh, uh, smaller individuals gathered, and they seem to be doing up offerings. It seems like this is a huge wall-spanning mosaic. But lots of the tiles have fallen, and it's hard to make out. But draconic imagery. Okay. You go skidding around this corner. It's weird as you like go running into this room. Slip like these slide. walls of water like rise above you, and then you come around the bend, and there's a single massive stone door which has been slidden out of. Is yeah. the sound of him hitting the wall? Yeah, <laughs> slid aside. Well, it's, it's open. The bump and take a dive. Mac, <laughs> crocodile. Yeah, crocodile. Whoa. Oh, just oh, oh, move these poor oh, a little bit stuck. Literally, only <laughs> just <laughs> actually realized that was glowing. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's a great touch that I just haven't yeah. given a oh, shit I about. Not even it at all. But I'm like, that's cool, dude. I noticed it before we it started been there the playing. Whole time? It's been there the whole time. It's been there the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I, I noticed it before we started playing, and then while we're playing, I, I, I haven't noticed it. You guys don't wait. beautiful. Like, as you come sliding through the room, I guess as you guys follow, you see the, the horrible creatures in the water that are just held back behind the wall. Massive, horrible crustacean creatures. Awesome. Roofer, you reach first. As you come through, this, there's a couple small, narrow rooms at different levels that are, again, you see these slithering marks that all lead towards a final shrine. It looks like a shrine anyway. Guys, I see a shrine. There's only two figures in the shrine. There are two figures in the shrine. Well, really, just one. And really? Only one. <laughs> I don't know why I got so excited. I saw a double. There's only one. Oh only one in this shrine. Not two, one. Who am I going to use? Who's a good... Uh, we'll do this little fella. This, the figure is... The other people were like part human, part snake. But this snake person is... Snake, part human. 
<laughs> God damn it. <laughs> snake in a major way. So oh, major the guys you way? saw before oh, were more like snake. this yeah. guy. He's solid more like snake. solid snake. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Here's our, just like a giant <laughs> a snake which has been grown to human proportions <laughs> with two scaly off. limbs <laughs> and wearing clothing. Carry, carry. A full 16, on uh, abomination. Five. What did he say? Right? <laughs> Snake. Counterbalance Snake. a knife. Snake! Snake! <laughs> Snake! <laughs> Snake! I was much an exclamation point. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, Prank. This, this, this massive oh. snake creature. Yeah. Naga. And, uh, kind of like a naga. Very much so. Uh, in front of what is set in this recess behind it, marked here by this gl glowing candle. Mm -hmm. From oh. floor to ceiling, it's like a 10 foot tall. It's a Big concave, almost like a grotto made of white marble. Sexy. That's mm -hmm. still covered, it still has this kind of like slime algae that's grown on it over the years. There's some cracks yeah. where you see the darker veins. But in the basin glows intense bright green flame that mm. radiates out with you with a, it's like a cool heat. Like you can tell there's a tense, intense energy, but it's not like hot. It's not like blazingly hot. It's just almost cool. Mm. And it's radiating out. If this was a movie, it would be really awesome CG. Like flame, greenish flame, rolling and rolling on top of each other. And carved out of the white marble, two hissing, open mouthed snake heads that are kind of perched over it. You, sir, the bard, at the Me? very least. You, at the very least, as you come drunkenly staggering, you're, you're kind of ducking your head as you come into the room. Probably dead last with your elephant. It's a uh, a dragon fire forge. A well of dragon fire. Kindled in ages past when dragons cooperated with man a little bit more. Mm. They're very, very rare. And they have intense magical properties. Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> you will take nothing. You gross fleshy two-legged dwellers of the lands above. We reclaim this temple for the Yonti. We shall rise again. It says, hissing as it turns towards you. You're too late. My cultists have sacrificed themselves to the well of dragon flame. And now I summon forth your doom. Who's gone to Barasakacha? And, and surging forth, the flame in the well begins to coalesce and come out like a solar flare out of it, mm -hmm. splashing upon the ground in front of the, the priestess and coming together into... Adam Sandler Netflix film. <laughs> <laughs> if only. A hunched and hissing monstrous form. We'll use this one. <laughs> You can't quite, I mean, it's literally composed of what seems to be solid flame that's licking about, solid green flame. Um, the, the fire in the pit is still there, but it seems to be drawing greater and greater strength from it. And uh, let's roll a new initiative. Why don't you place your guys' roof or you can place yourself you wherever you want to be. Initiative! Advantage. Uh, I'll go near the front. Advantage, everybody. Mm -hmm. Oh, advantage. Ooh, that hail. Oh, why does me. everyone get advantage? I crit! I've got uh, yeah. uh, like either an amulet or something of warning, which gives advantage to all my allies within 30. Okay, I love it. All right. So, uh, Roofer, you can place yourself wherever you want. Everyone oh else will God. be behind you. Put me semi near the front, please. Probably near the front. You have in the, the front. front. You're the person who encountered it. Everyone in else? the front. Everyone else behind. Behind. I got gold. I can do this. All right. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, we'll see, David. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, so he's like a giant snake person? A giant yeah. snake person. Yeah. Well, and you know, powered by dragon fire? Six and a half, a six and a half foot tall, oh, uh, this thing? That yeah. thing, yeah, is like a, yeah, it's like a horrible monster snake creature built from dragon, uh, made of dragon fire. Almost like a construct of cold flame, mm -hmm. if you will. Mm -hmm. Does that work? You got a mana core figure down there? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go around the table. We'll get initiative, and we'll start with Brian again. Brian, 19. 19, 19 for Aguilar. Zordicus. 18. 18 for Zord. 
Chancho. 18. Great. Uh, I've got six initiative. Okay. Okay, so Chancho before Aguilar, or before Zordicus. Gotcha. Mac? 15. Mac with a 15. 25. Whoa! Oh, Roofer my was man. quick this my time. Man. Crit initiative. My, my man, my boy, my, my boy, man. my oh, baby. Mm-hmm. Roofer, you start us out as you come skinning around this corner. So there is the snake person. Uh, she she seems to be a priestess of some sort. Uh, He's a lady. Yeah. Um, He's a lady. Her scales are very dark black, except for the bright red ones, which form two narrow. Stripes, which run down her back, down her tail. Stripe with the evil gremlin gremlins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, and she, she wields a rather impressive scimitar, and uh, there's a longbow strapped across her back, but she doesn't show any sign of drawing that. Uh, the flame construct. Uh, That's what she wants you to think. It prowls about and hisses at you guys with a predatory kind of posture. Okay, so I say. Ah, oh, you're one of the Yonti. I've been hearing about you guys for ages. No wonder you're here. This is a great place, Bandit Coast, prime real estate. Now let me talk to you a little bit about what I can do for you. I see that you've got some marble here. I know some people who can take this to the tip top ship shape. Can I hit them? All the places that you want to be. Now, do you, how do you think that your dragon lords will really, really appreciate all this mold growing off your walls? Dragon lords. Took from us what we should have had ourselves. The Yonti would be ascendant as soon as I forge in these flames. A new Yonti blade of might. She says, reaching up and uh, holding up this uh, glowing orb. It actually looks very similar to those gl- uh, glowing blue orb of magic you have, except this one is a um, like a shining greenish yellow. So I, I pull out my buttons. orb. And I say, oh, look, I got one of these, too. How great. For now, soon it shall be mine. No. The See, power now. of the auntie waxes. And, and wanes. And wanes for humans. Oh, so, so no attacks on your turn? So we'll no. move over and to, uh, yes, something? No. I, uh, I prep total defense. Total defensive action. Aguilar, you're up. All right. Uh... Aguilar is going to run in and... Horatio, 78A. Hey, man. Hey. Thanks, man. Thank yeah. goes good. Horatio! Oh. 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 Guys, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Mono. Lose no. all your rerolls. <laughs> Oh, just feel Good. sad. Yeah, uh, thank you, guys. Remember, all donations tonight are going to benefit everyone in Austin. Uh, really great. The whole, anyone who's suffering Houston. from. Houston. Uh, Houston. Yes. Austin's the Manicor. Austin's the Manicor. Houston's the part of our country in desperate it's need of help. Desperate need of help. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, it, they're uh, through help.org. So thank you so much, guys. That's really generous. We totally thank, appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. You guys thank are you. awesome. That's thank awesome. You. Yes. I'm, so basically, I'm just hoping my action delays her a bit. Okay. Confuses. Delights. Delights, confuses, delays. Gotcha. Mm. Aguilar. Uh, it, it, yeah, probably. I think for sure. That was not what she was expecting at all. Were we quickly into this room? You, moments after, well, a couple moments after. Okay. Roofer there, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to run up and... Give her a big old bear hug and try and grapple her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it looks you kind of have to get past this construct, which is sort of blocking that passage first. So you take an attack. Does the construct look like something that I could grapple? It's made out of dragon slime. It, but it, it it does seem like something you could grapple. It's it's like it's sort of coalesced into like a has like slow a state. moving molten flaming ice. Yes. Mm. All right. Now I've described it in the shape of a horrible snake. Okay. Green. Well, then I'll go to the ice with blue flame across. It. I'll go to the construct and uh, grapple it then, if, if that seems like it would be something. Well, that you would you would at least avoid gra- an attack of opportunity. Great. Okay. Uh, oh, I can get by it, but you what, can it hit would... things too, right? Yeah. He's not into that. 
Holy yeah. smokes. Right. Grappling like Yeah, no, no. Chill. Go no. grab the fire. I have four rerolls from Horatio's donation. Oh, thanks, Horatio. All right. Did I give you guys inspiration, Horatio. by the way, right now? No. I got to give you inspiration for being on point with your character. Yay. Oh, Second, uh, four rerolls for, uh, yeah, Matt, again, for you, from Horatio. All four rerolls go to you. Whoa. Whoa. No I'm going to be dodging there. some stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> that also unlocks a new drinking god rule. All right, let me look up. Another one? Up. Yeah, another one. This one's just, this is just as the drinking gods are like, more. Yes. Yes, okay. All right. Yeah. I go You're so going I'm not going to, I'm, I, I, instead I'm just going to go up and with my great axe, do some great axe and, and I'm going to, well, kind of how I did the, You're the not snake. still raging, Shirley. It's, you must have dropped your rage as they were inspecting. We're still in, oh. Combat ended as you guys inspected okay. the chest. Then I will down. rage again. Re-rage. Re-rage. Okay, so you've got advantage on your attack roll? Yeah. Rage and rage uh, So rage. the first one is a 15. Okay, great. That's a miss. You come okay. lunging forward. Axe out as you Talk slash Talk to me about inspiration. Could I re-roll both of those? Uh, you get a... I already add have one it. more D20. I already have it an advantage, right? Uh, so choose one to re-roll, basically, yeah. You don't get a re-roll in both, unfortunately. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. All right. Didn't do anything. Didn't better. do anything. Take it. Uh, okay, so second attack. Uh, misses again. Nice. Third attack. A uh, 16. Uh, also hit. misses. That's, I think, what you had before. Right? Yeah, misses. So uh, oh, the barbarian strides forward. Yeah, so three swings. Miss, miss, miss. Great axe out. And th as you swipe at this construct, it, the flames seem to shift and dance out of your way. You don't know quite where you're supposed to hit it. You come stepping forward, missing once, twice, three times. Okay. The flames licking at your face, and you feel a coldness across you. Uh, I'm adapted to cold climates. Good to know. Just know that. I do know that. Sick. Sick. Uh, Sick burn. Chancho so before the, Zordicus, right? The uh, crit Except after god seat. rule that was added okay. is from Sir Farsat. Oh, yes. Sir Farsat. Okay. Uh, yes, like yes, that. yes. It's called Best Mates. Everyone gets a partner. When your partner drinks, you drink. Cute. So let's roll off for that. Uh, Great. Everybody grab a D4. And matching numbers partner up, maybe? Sure. Four. Three. Onesies, we're friends. Oh, so the three fuck! <laughs> fuck! So why don't Tom and God me? damn it? No, God! <laughs> God, no! I'm, I'm partnered up with Cook. Why? <laughs> but it's for me. It's the best. What's it called? Life. Besties? <laughs> best Wrong. Mates. Best mates. Hey Matt, I can't wait. Hey, God, have a good day. All right. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. No, it's bullshit! Is it, is it uh, I'm getting thirsty from all my smiling. I better have a drink. You better. Yeah, oh, you, you dick, hey, man. You're the only one that's got to keep this train rolling. And I'm doing a beautiful job of that. Mm -hmm. Chancho's never seen a construct like this, and he goes into a little bit of a frenzy, and he's like, ah, It's your turn. Ah, demon, demon! And so he runs up, and he slides like between Chancho's calves, and he's going to go, ah! And like that, and like swing at it. Damn, that's so many dice. Uh, oh, it's great news. 23. Great. Yeah, I have to hit. And that's for uh, 12 damage. And then so it's like one with rat fang, like right to like the center of the construct, right? Or maybe lower because I'm, I'm sliding. You're sliding but, under it. Okay, so you find yourself under this massive beast. Right, and so I just like one with rat fang, and like then I'm going to... It's the feeling of like jamming into thick ice. Cool, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go like that, and I'm going to gouge. Now that my like first strike has sort of like fractured that ice, I'm gonna like chip away at it, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's for an 18 to hit. That hits. And that's for 12 damage. 12. And what was your first blow? Uh, the first blow was 12 damage. So tw two, uh, 12 and 12, 24. Yeah. Great. You go slashing into this thing. Uh, chunks of it like get torn away, and then as soon as they fall, they just dissipate into ether. Like into green flame. That's good news. Dissipates. I like to see that. Oh. We, we hit a thousand for Holy Hurricane shit. Harvey relief. 
Oh, oh uh, saving yeah. saving throw saving as a throw whole. Did. That's awesome, saving throw you guys. Show. That's, That's a big awesome. deal. That's a major. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, saving throw. Good that job, guys. Thank you, guys. Thanks for letting us be a part of it. Yeah, no, it's a big deal. Yeah, so good. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna use my free action to disengage and slide back away from the trouble. Back to the group of your friends. Yeah, yeah. Not towards the uh, priestess. Okay. Right. You slide back towards your friend, tumbling back out. Uh, the creature, the construct, it's hard to tell, but it doesn't seem bloodied or anything like that by that, of course. Uh, oh my god, the Zort, right? Yeah, thank you. Zort and then Mac. Zort has a quick question. So we have the dragon, flame, priestess, and construct. Those are the three. Correct. Okay. Can we establish that the dragon flame is anything? That we well, can it seems use? to be a, a Mac, at least identified it as a dragon fire forge, which seems to be a sort of a mystical, special okay. place. Well, to start, Zorkins is going to give Austin with a little wink. Be like, do your thing, baby. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, charge into combat. Hmm. Okay. I mean, okay. Make a little check. Make a little check. She's, yeah. A flirt check. She's, or yeah, he, well, he, he's really into charisma. Oh, hey, come on, a little man. Char- a little charisma. Cameras. A, little char- um, a little charisma wink. Yeah, yeah. What are we working with here? I just, you're kind of having to compel it, because someone who's really yeah. into is not necessarily going to full frontal attack your enemies anytime you want them to. Oh, no full frontal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Um, so yeah, Zord's going to use his charisma charm against Austin to take these fools out. That sounds good. Deception? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. That you love her? Him? So that's a 23. Jeez. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so he's on, he's on board. Mm-hmm. Austin comes surging forward, uh, attacking who? I feel like... We gotta fuck up this priestess. Okay. Go ahead and move, uh, can somebody reach uh, Austin, move Austin in? Okay. Oh, the priestess, so there'll be an attack of opportunity from the flame construct. That's Yeah, you don't care. Okay. <laughs> Nightmare. How <laughs> freeing. Yeah. Uh, Austin, <laughs> Austin <laughs> takes a savage slash to the side by the construct as it comes winging its way in. <laughs> Me to know. Ooh, pretty good. Okay. Uh, Austin hides its pain as it lunges it forward. Go ahead and make an attack roll against the priestess. Oh, oh shit. That's a Ooh. 19. That's a hit. Okay. Gotcha. I'm dirty. I'm doing dirty. Uh-huh. That's doing it dirty. Gotcha. Uh, the manticore lands in front of the priestess, hisses at it, and uh, lets fly with a volley of these iron darts. <laughs> Staggers backward. Zordicus, you do anything on your turn? Oh, yeah. Okay. Please. Zordicus is going to swing his hair back and then channel the crack and roar. So, from his head. This is the first time we've seen this. I want to remind you as well, because this reminds you, you have a special magic ring you stole from the witch. Yeah, what does it do? You have it hurts me. It. A little bit, but there's a trade off. It's kind of sinister. It, 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 you Great. feel that it, you can unleash. A terrible power from within it. Great news. You let loose your Kraken's roar. This is exciting for me. What happens? Uh, So what happens is no one hears it because it's just on my forehead. So it's a psychic blast. So in the priest's head is the sound of a Kraken's roar. That basically would feel like... What's it sound like? Probably just like a... (laughs) And then it would be like an instant... Like migraine, like it feels like your brain has just been like exploded. Oh god, it hurts really your bad. Temples like, burst into like pain. real bad, real bad. Um, so they have to make. Oh, I think we said a con save, but if you think there's something that makes. Uh, yeah, con sounds good. So they're hit with like a almost a half sonic, half psychic. Yeah. Psionic damage as this psychic blast right, comes David. out. What is my save? Um, like what would it be with the kraken? Is it still mine? Or? Uh, It'd be so What is like a standard will save? What's, a, what's one of your saves for a magic spell? Uh, 17. We, that's pretty fucking good. That's gonna, better than I was going to say, so we'll do it 17. Okay, uh, and that's a double fail. They both fail. Do you remember how much damage that does? 3d12. Uh, Jeez. So Mama. Slightly regretting this, but there was a pay, there was a trade-off, right? Yeah, where, 22, and then I take a d12 of damage. Okay, so how so much damage? 22. Wow. Slams into both two. of them. Two gold. Two gold damage? I'll take it. He's a bastard. 
Okay, that's intense. So uh, you guys don't quite see what's happening, but in cool psychic boy style, Zordicus is leaning forward. Psychic boy. Yeah. Yo, you psychic boy. You guys don't hear anything, but there's almost like a thrumming somehow, and both the construct and the priestess recoil backwards as if they're struck by a sledgehammer blow. Mm -hmm. Got off lightly with that one. Just oh, two damage. Two damage. How does it and they fell on the heads. So, and then the hair kind of like falls back down. Got you. And uh, but, but you're in your body as you have tapped into the the kraken's roar. You feel it continue to resonate throughout you. Yeah. As if as if just by doing that, the barest little tip of the kraken's tentacle entered through the back of your brain. <laughs> well, yeah, I feel like, it's like when a little beer gnome. I love him so much. <laughs> Yeah, My favorite beer. Beers. When uh, so when Zord oh yeah, when Zordakus does that, I feel like his eyes roll back. I'm mm -hmm. good. I've got this. And his one. body gets kind of like a liquidy tentacle sway to it. You guys notice that? Yeah, you're doing that serpentine. Yeah. I still got Mac. Back. I'm glad you're back. It's your turn. Oh great. Can you? Uh, 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 someone just uh, texted uh, us. Uh, how do how do they donate? Oh, uh, I think chat can weigh in on that in text, right? In chat. Yep. Okay, do you guys want to remind everybody how to donate? Please. Or, please. Wants to donate. or like, where do we where do we oh, send cool. send someone who wants to donate? Oh, like it's twitch.tv slash saving throw show. Well, uh, they 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 can't they can't access Twitch, so uh, oh. is that what's going on? Is no, I think they just right? legitimately don't know where we are. They probably have never watched us live. Yeah. They want to know what's up yeah, there. I think I it's a right friend back. of ours. A that's friend like, of ours that doesn't really. Yeah, twitch.tv slash saving throw. Okay. You got, are you going? Twitch.tv slash saving throw show. Mm -hmm. Again, for those of you watching on Twitch, twitch.tv slash saving throw show. And all the money tonight is going to help in the Houston flood relief. Mm -hmm. from Hurricane Harvey. Hands.org? Hands, hands Helping hands? hands. Uh, all hands. All hands. All hands. So, yeah. So. While uh, our DM is gone, yeah, does anyone on chat have yeah, yeah, questions yeah. for us? And then, yeah, as we take this, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. anybody welcome, got welcome questions? Welcome to the Cringes. Welcome to the Cringes, baby. Everyone. Yeah, yeah. Nothing I'll safe. Bunch, I'll bunch more. I'll bunch more. Nothing safe. Just a way more, way more. <laughs> a Hurry, comical right. amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing sacred. Nothing sacred. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fuck him. Fuck him in his fucking ass. I need some. <laughs> Oh, he's watching us on there. <laughs> yeah. He's in the Did bathroom. Did you see Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> Grand Theft Nerdo just happened. You guys don't put them all so, out, though. Yeah, yeah. Keep them in a spot. No, no, where I know, dude. All, the last three sessions, I've kept them in my socks. <laughs> and then I go home, I'm like, oh, god damn it. I owe you guys some coins. <laughs> I hide them so well, I end up with them. <laughs> So, so next, I have somewhere I keep so my car keys just so I remember, but I don't ever drive here, so I don't ever bring them next back. Time David rolls. It's just each one of us. Yeah. <laughs> one. I'll, I'll call Everyone be on your phone. In, indefinitely? In, just indefinitely. <laughs> uh, He's already watching us on Twitch, which yeah, is yeah, great. So that's good. Okay. We're still trying to sort out this donation. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. I should have taken a longer break. Uh, Mac, it is actually your turn if you want to weigh in on that one. Yeah! Out. Yeah, go ahead and put your mic back on. Cool. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Was that slightly that that aggressive? <laughs> okay, we got about 13 minutes left. Come on! About. Okay. Let's go till midnight. Go to midnight. That's right, engineers, you gotta stay. <laughs> it's for a good cause <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> Getting us drunk. Mac, what do you do, man? It is a weird situation. Me? Mac. Oh, Mac. I said Mac. Mac's still huge? What do you do, man? Yeah. Mac is still huge. He's getting huger by the second, right? That's uh, a boner town. Yeah. It's going to boner town. Yeah, you want to be. I don't want to go there, but for real. Yeah, okay. Okay. For real. Definitely, definitely in your mind. <laughs> That's what you did. I know. Yo. Wait, is it? It isn't but in my mind. We we, no, we established for that much. I mean, for real. Everything, everything Great. in your mind. So he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna get through the crowd. He's gonna uh, he's gonna. I think as far as you're concerned, in your mind, you're almost a hundred feet tall at this point. Yeah. It's impossible that you could still fit in this dungeon, but somehow you are. 
He's going to do a very un-Mac thing because he is un-Mac right now. Mm-hmm. And he's, he's going to like sneak through and be like, excuse me, sorry, get out of the way. And stop! Hi. Do you have the... And then try to headbutt the guy. The uh, the flaming serpent construct or the mm-hmm. priest? The thing made entirely of fire. Yeah. Cold fire. The whole <laughs> thing made entirely of cold fire. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Do you have inspiration? I'll give you inspiration on, on being, I don't. being a mad lad. Oh, okay. This lad's mad. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, which means you can roll 2d20 and take the higher roll. Okay. The way I've always pictured Mac is as one of the teddies. A teddy boy? Who's teddy? Yeah. <laughs> from like a teddy boy? From like the 60s and 70s in Great Britain, they were like the early punk movement. Kind, oh, of, yeah. grease, kind of a greaser. Yeah. Movie. Halfway between greaser and punk. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't no. even think he's that I see cool, it was like, yeah. uh, I see it was like, uh, oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so what did you roll? <laughs> 19. Stay on track. That's a hit. That's a hit as you come strutting up and you headbutt this thing. <laughs> um, how Sorry. reckless are you being? Oh, Super so reckless. Why don't you roll? Can you put those up on camera? 4d8. Yeah. For your damage. Mm-hmm. You have 4d8? But I, I don't, but I can get it. You're going to take half of that damage back to you. Can I have one more d8? Yeah, yeah but I'll... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to do how many d8s of damage do you want to do? Well, uh, well infinity. <laughs> okay. How about mean? this? You can do as many d8s of damage as you want to do, but however much damage you do is going to be taken back by you equally. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave me this? <laughs> <laughs> but it's damage. You're taking gold damage. Yes. Not health damage. Give me that. <laughs> You're up to four. Okay, we're keeping it at four. Okay. Four, 15, uh, 20. Good 20 nice. points of damage. You come striding forward, you mad lad him right in the face. A firm headbutt against the counter. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Take 20 points of damage, gold damage, as gold coins just dissipate into a mist in your pocket. And gold means nothing! Gold you are naked. Who doesn't even know where your gold is at this point? I know. He screams that as he's naked. Gold means nothing. So the uh, ice construct, I guess it would be against Max, since Max right there up in his face. Great, that was a good roll. Uh, kind of lunges towards you and tries to bite you. Misses with that. Follows up. What is your AC now? Uh, uh, 15. Probably lower since you're a giant and naked right now. So we'll put you lower. Down to, we'll put you down to a thirteen. Not lower. No, easier target. Not for sure. Real? Okay. More armor. Skin got bigger. S- bigger bigger skin. con. I think. Uh, no. So you get hit twice. Okay, re-roll. re-roll. That's right. Both of them. You? Yeah. That's a hit. I'll, I'll throw and one. And another in. hit. Oh. Anyone else got one? I got a reroll. All right, oh, double hit. Got one in. There we go. I'm rerolling again. That's a hit. Oh my hey, God. hey, hey, hey. I'll, I'll, I'll chip in one of my last. Wait, wait. Give me mine back then. No, he's got two hits. No, yeah, he's got oh, two hits. Oh, he's got two hits. He twice yeah. every time. Here we go. So, two more rerolls. That's a miss. Yeah. And I believe that's another miss. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This is with all three attacks. Horatio reminding us to drink. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, everybody. Oh, you guys, we have a live caller. <laughs> We're going to pass this through. We uh, got a live call, and we got it live on FaceTime. Uh, Mr. Gary Soldat. <laughs> are, where, where are these raked to for focus? Can we get up close? Oh, yeah. Can we get up well, close? Well, how do we get, yeah, get, get on that one. How do we get focus yeah, on that? We got oh, Gary I'm live on the line. <laughs> Gary. T- tell us where to put this. I'm doing it. Hey, I know where to put it. I'm going to see. Picture Gary like that. <laughs> All right, where to put that? He's like, oh. He's thank literally. Gosh. That's literally a live. That's how he <laughs> that's talks. How he that's is. as much as he gives us when he's at the table. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. Wait, wait. Is he sending us something else? <laughs> <laughs> wait, Gary. Gary. We, we oh, lost man. you. Can you call? Twitch Gary, yeah. can you call again? <laughs> Gary's back. Gary's back on the line. He's back on the Oh, thank God. He's thank excited. you. Gary. He's having fun. <laughs> God, there's a handsome man. Uh, okay. All right. Well, awesome avoid. <laughs> the, the construct lunges at Mac, but why is, is stymied because you just headbutted it as I hard know, as you could, I and your naked massive nose right in front of it. But as it tries um, to get you with each attack, your friends 
like keep lunging forward and body checking it back, just pulling yeah. each attack once after another after another, leaving Pretty you sweet. unscathed as you reel drunkenly a naked beast. However, that does nothing for the uh, Yanti cultist, the priestess who's back there, who will take that longbow across her back, draws it, pulls it into its hand, only one attack instead of its full attack action. Because it's got to get a bow out, strings up an arrow, and lets it fly right at... Again, Mac, you're gigantic. Oh. Manicor. Austin's there. Oh. And know. engaged with, with the priestess? Well, it's like, yeah, let's shoot him. So close. forget the longbow. Three brutal slashes with the scimitar across the mm -hmm. We have a hit. Ooh, I got you. Who's this? Who's it? Austin. We have another hit. Your love. All right. Let's see. Three hits. You reroll two of those, baby. Oh, my God. Here, I'll, do, I'll throw the other one in. Whoa. God, big spenders. Everybody drink. Yeah, baby. Drink it, buddy. Cheers. 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 One hit, two hey. misses. I mean, I would, but I don't have any drink, beers. motherfucker. Oh, you come grab on. me a, a diet uh, a beer. A diet beer? A diet, diet beer. Can I have a diet beer, please? Thank you. Ah, uh, delicious. Oh, cold one. Pan Blair. Cheers. Cheers. One hit. Ow! <laughs> one hit. But Austin is now others. bloodied. Okay. You're kidding. That was a heavy one. Yeah. What was that? That's a that's that a was a heavy one. Gave me. That's a hit still. Bullshit, you roll the seven, <laughs> motherfucker. Austin, Austin. I can see what you say. Austin, yeah. I can I, see what you roll. You check out, oh, we'll audit the monster manual later. Still a hit. Rude. Austin is bloody. Okay. Okay. And is that <coughs> scimitar drives into the manticore's hide and it sh lets out a horrible okay. shriek. A horrible shriek, but it's still clear that that manticore is screaming out Zorikus's name. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Zorikus! is like, oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Someone just said, and in true Gary fashion, they didn't know which camera to look at. <laughs> Pretty brilliant. That's amazing. You should play. Roofer. <laughs> you should replace Gary. Okay. Roofer, yeah. you're up. Uh, so Roofer wants to take a look at the uh, priestess who is... Uh, she's got that orb in her hand, right? Put and the that, orb put that in front of that camera. Is, the red. Yeah. The orb yeah. seems well, to she, be. I guess. On that. On that Same one, just Gary with his dick out. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta nix that one. Are we nixing that one, Dom? We, we uh, kind of have to nix it. Really? Uh, Brian, 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 Brian got nix it. We can't get, we can't get booted get right off the channel. Is it yeah. too explicit? Yep. Yeah. What's the issue? Nipples. Oh, nipples. Oh, shit. Nipples? Yeah, you can't have nipples. Right. Fine, Get rid of it. Fine. You can't really see his nipples. What you should do uh, is see put one. Gary's head on his nipple. <laughs> yeah, can, you guys, can you guys make a version where Gary's I'll head is on so his I'll do that so fucking fast. Yeah, the <laughs> guys are going to be so upset. Uh, she she has put the orb away, I think, because she's attacking with her scimitar, so it's tucked into a side pouch. Does, I, I want to look, and I want to say, hi, it looks like you're controlling this thing somehow. You summon this thing somehow. Uh, I want to know how you did that because that seems like a pretty cool trick. And I'm going to arc. It's going to be tough to strike up a friendly conversation with some of your how? friends. How? I haven't fought anyone. But your friends are. Your friends are. are, are, are. Mm. Eh, it's going to be tough. You want to try and do it? I'll allow it, but it's going to be really tough. What would the DC be? 20. 20 on what? Persuasion. Persuasion? Ah, that's what you've done it wrong. What is it? Hi. Is it? Oh! <laughs> That's a 22! <laughs> Me tell you how I've done it? Me? Yes. Tell you how I've done this? Ha! No sooner would I tell you my secrets of summoning this creature from the dragon flame. How easily I did it. I was simple. I merely sacrificed the lives of my cultists. You see, we young tea. Wish to bring Truesdale! Mike Truesdale! Oh! 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 Big ups! Big ups! Oh! Holy Thank you. How? That's a hundo dollar. Yeah. 
That's breaking off a hundo. Well probably. done, sir. Thanks, Mikey. Well, not, took you, took that's us breaking a while to off, get it. That's, that's reaching deep and taking a hundred dollars for the people, deep. for the people from of your Texas, yeah. man. Yeah, from your family. That's huge. Yeah, for other dollars. families. Yeah. That's for amazing. That's a big yeah. time family man. Cheers, yeah. bro. Cheers. 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 Cheers to that. Thanks, Trizzy. Cheers to everybody. Cheers. 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 Cheers to everybody who's Thanks. donating, but that is huge. That's huge. Every little bit is. And hey, if you don't donate on this, still donate. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Yeah. Find find oh yeah, donate Find to however, and I'm sure a lot of you people out there way, have however donated. way you, you feel is necessary. Jeez, yeah, absolutely. God, what a what a sobering thing that happened. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll do it. Which yeah. uh, I, I grew up on the from? Jersey Shore. That's where my parents live, where my family lives. And Sandy was brutal. And this is even bigger than that. And uh, mm. every yeah. single bit helped and every gesture and everything mm -hmm. so every all of these dollars are yeah. it's, crucial it's, so it's, thank you it's amazing it is amazing god bless him i'm gonna still put gary's face over this nipple can you so put his, can, show can you edit his face over the nipples just he so really is gonna, doing that, that helps. as we speak <laughs> that helps i see the pixels every little bit beautiful. helps every little bit helps <laughs> guys uh so that puts us up a couple oh tier god. goals one all players get inspiration if you have inspiration already, you get it again. That's the only time it's ever happened. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I like that. Thank you. Because that's coming from chat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Good deflection. <laughs> yeah, Deflect it. missiles. Deflect missiles. Uh, that's if, So if you have inspiration already, you can spend it twice, but keep, you're not going to ever be able to get it on top of that. So spend it. And it lets you roll your d20 twice, take the higher roll. Also, one player gets a plot point. A plot point. Okay, so uh, the plot point, if you guys remember that, lets you interject a fact into the game narrative. Uh, I don't have a great way to determine that, but I think what we're going to have to do is... I better just do a roll-off, don't you guys think? Everybody sure. D20 over rolls the highest with the plot point. Yeah, that's not, not it. Not it. Jesus. Who, who rolled, what everybody I had roll? a 14. I had a 2. 8. 6. What'd you get? Five. Daniel, goddammit. <laughs> Goddamn it, my Truesdale. You right. can make us all reroll. Yeah, I'll give you this one here. Yeah, reroll? Uh, plot points are the rectangle ones. I, I don't see them in here right now. Hmm. Isn't that? That's a bitch. So I'm going to give you this little special si shiny silver one. Boink. There you go. So that's a plot point. Uh, try and use it this session. I can do what those, I want when I those want. Don't, those don't carry over. You those them. don't carry over? We were never told that. I've got two sitting here. Uh, those will carry over since I didn't tell you that, but going forward, I don't want them to carry over because why wouldn't you sit on them and wait to really fuck me up in the long run? Why would I? <laughs> David, we play D&D. Why, D &D. why <laughs> wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Oh. So please, it, it won't carry over. Spend it this session. Man. Thank okay. you for those donations. The Thank snake you, continues to extemporize. Thank you. Explaining about how... Ah, Dom. Well, reclaim the Yonti Empire. Will you clear this for us? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm so you sorry, might Dom. not clear this, but <laughs> yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I can't. There's literally, there's nothing. There's no nipples. Can you see this? There's not even a bulge. There's literally <laughs> like. There's a bulge, but it's a different. No, it's a face. It's just a face. This is a bad. It's like a, it's this an optical illusion. It works TV upside down show. too. <laughs> this well, is my favorite TV show. Uh, Guys, we'll share that on our Twitter. To, yeah, guys, share it follow, on Twitter. Trying to gauge what Soldati Gary uh, uh, porn we can show the world. We will show this. Joy. We will show this on our Twitter later, guys. At Crit Juice. It's at amazing. Crit Juice what you can on do Twitter. Technology. You know, I should mention now because I saved this till the end. But let's mention it now. We also have a newsletter, guys. Uh, some of you who are watching have already signed up. Some of you haven't. If you haven't, sign up for our newsletter. It's called The Adventure. Uh, you can sign up for that on the Crit Juice website, critjuice.com. Uh, we keep you updated about when we're playing. You get all sorts of cool stuff like realm, realm lore. And uh, we'll go ahead and share that picture as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll so, put that in the newsletter. We'll put a link anyway or something. It'll be the top of the newsletter. Should yeah. I make it more graphic? Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the yawn tea continues to hiss at you horribly, explaining that uh, she has sacrificed these cultists because her real goal is to bring back the resurgence of the Yonti Empire. And she will do that by using the Dragonfire Forge here that she has to forge, reforge a legendary 
helm of ultimate power. Yeah, that sounds a great. crown. But first she has to eliminate you, and what's even better, claim that pearl of magic which you possess. Is that, that's my blue orb. She says gesturing towards that blue orb. So she's got one too. And use this forge to forge a new and mighty magic weapon. So you use the orbs to, oh, sorry. Uh, so you use the orbs to then make your own helms and your different items. Head helms. So you use, you use Ed helms. <laughs> Ed helms. Yep. <laughs> Ed, Ed helms. All right, so that's what I said. Uh, but she seems to suggest that this, this, this construct has, has been summoned from the sacrificed souls of her numerous cultists who have just sacrificed themselves to form a new and powerful guardian to finish you off. So Such is the greatness of the Yanzi Empire. I want to go quiver up. before us, fleshy mammals. Quiver before the superior eyes of your reptilian god. I want to say, and that orb? And I like point to where she's like put the orb. Yes, this orb. But I'll tell you no more. But, I swear but she did this to say yes, this, this orb. Yes, this orb here. But no and more so than what I tell you. I'm gonna stealth check to try a slave hand check to try Why and get you that. She's not, you're going to uh, walk up to her casually and be like, Ooh. Well, I'm talking to her. I'm going to sleight of hand to try and take that orb from her. Let him do it. <laughs> sleight of hand. Check sleight of hand, and I'm going to use inspiration. Okay. Ooh. Difficulty, because you're in combat. I'm not, I haven't fought a single combat. Yeah, she's I'm in debate. She's debate for her life. <laughs> she knows she's not going to have her all dead. And she clearly wants you dead. But, Does so, she? DC 20. Same as before. I don't make it. So I'm going to spend a reroll. Do I get both? No, I think just one. Okay. Here, give them both. Whoa, yeah, money bags, my over how here. Many, yeah, how oh. many chucking coins? How many rerolls did you? I got Steel. the ones I got from Faro Kane, and I got the one from Bastille Films. I can't trust anybody. Anymore. I keep wanting to say Bastille Films. Mm -hmm. All right. That does it. So, by the liquid use. Yes, Chew your mango, off. you're gonna choke. <laughs> yeah, finish your mango boy. Would it make you happier if I burn one more inspiration no, on it? No, 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 that was fair, fair and square. I said 20 DC. You that will be the end of Critch. I mean, the, pro the when problem we crack is. Him, <laughs> my slide that will will finally kill. He's kill the my sleight of beast. hand is plus five. When we crack, crack I'm the it. real dragon. No, I don't. <laughs> that needs to be said. But I don't think we will. So you, she. Yeah, you're the real hero. I swear, <laughs> he is the real hero. We're the fucking. Look, no, she's a wait villain. Get over, come, come closer. <laughs> Let me tell you the real, the real secret of the Andre's power. And you're like, she just sidles right up to you, and you just. just and I say, this one. You nimble. <laughs> what? She says, recalling. I thought I could trust you. I thought you were trying to tell us to teach us about thatching. But without the fact, no, it's just another human lie. I'm not even human. Oh, we got a donation. We got a donation from Brian. Brian McGrath. Fucking McGrath if for those rerolls don't go to me, I'm going to be pissed. I don't know how to. I didn't get a chance Talent. to reroll. Brian, if they don't go to me, I'll be pissed. No, you Brian. want the rerolls to go to uh, You get 25 rerolls. Is it no, no, no. What is it? I think it's merely five. Five? How merely? I'll, I'll, merely. Give, I'll give one to everyone. But me. All the players. No, he's calculating. You get uh, four, because you get three for 15, and then uh, individuals are six dollars. So. OK, so, so, so I kind of wasted that one, though. Four. Four to four. the Four to me, Brian, four to four to me, Brian and the curse no longer affects you. Ooh, that's a bargaining power. But we don't we have the herb that will cure you? And yeah, he does. Oh, oh yeah, you're still going blind. No. I'm going blind. That I'm not going to remove. But I'm going to give You know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna give two to David and two to Matt because they're drinking buds. Hey, how about that, buddy? Hey, how about, how about a drink? Drink, give yeah. my coins. <laughs> have some coins. That's where you keep them. <laughs> now look it. Okay. Okay. Probably. Rude. Yeah. Sorry. Hey, I shouldn't doubt you. What am I thinking? <laughs> Just going off of years of this. Plot <laughs> point! <laughs> I know. Oh, right, plot point. Uh, plot point. Use uh, your yeah. plot point. Like, you should yeah, use it. Yes. Oh, no. Unlock. Two players must engage in a heroic trial. Thanks to Brian McGrath. Ah, Christ almighty. Yeah, okay. Baby. 
We'll get to that. You steal the, the pearl. We'll she is shocked and appalled, and any trust that you had engendered in her for surface dwellers vanishes. You deserve no. to die. And I say, do we? And I look at the construct like, huh? I have the orb now. Do the thing where you're under our control because you were summoned by this world. <laughs> you bastards. All right. <laughs> we'll see how things stand when we get back around to your turn, Rufer. It's going to take another action to do that. Agalar, you're up. Great. But maybe you might be able to get under your control. Maybe. <laughs> Great. Uh, I, I am. I what did I do? I'm just telling you because we're. All I do is stab things. Just tell you because we're best And you're still mad at me. And all I do is talk in this accent that's not quite New Zealand, not quite Australian, just a lot of shit. (laughs) Just more beer. Brian Aguilar, what's up? So I'm going to go past the construct if I incur. The tag of opportunity. Tag of opportunity. Woo! Re roll from the re roll you gave me to attack you. Wow, that's. That's a hit. There we go. Haha. Then you re roll one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, dice. You never let me down. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's a crit. Can I make him re-roll it? I don't know. Wait, wait, you can't it's re-roll it. It's a crit. crit. It's a crit. Oh, no. Okay, great. Uh, wait. Uh, drink. Drink your juice. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> don't, don't drink. I got a drink for Matt. Drink your sweet, sweet, bubbly juice. All right. Uh, you take uh, 38 points of damage. 38 golds? Yeah, 38 gold. Running out of gold. And double damage after that. Yeah. And of course, you'll have no gold, which is kind of the long term pain that I like. Mm-hmm. You sneak past it after it delivers a vicious bite to your shoulder. Kay. Of course, you feel no pain, you just feel a lightning of your coin purse. Okay. And then, I, and then I'm doing the, the triple slash on Homegirl. On me? Yeah. I see how it is bringing your friends, and I thought. Yeah, I had to deal with it? No, you. Oh. Uh, the first one is a 19. That's a hit. Sadly. Uh, and that's uh, five damage. Oh, okay, I can take that. The second one is a hit, and it is uh, eight damage. Okay. And the third one is a hit and it is 11 damage. Okay, uh, boom, boom, boom. Uh, 24 is what I count there. Great. Okay, got you. Uh, a brutal series of blows delivered right into her body. <laughs> Not even bloodied. Okay. Heroic trial has been unlocked. Banana. So what that means is bananas. Potassium. <laughs> <laughs> I got I'll do that a bit. I'll do that right someday. Oh. Uh, we didn't have enough bananas that time. Wait, but. you didn't have right bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'll admit. I'm so upset. I bought those bananas. I'm still shitting funny. <laughs> that did something terrible. Listen, I'll to admit me. that I bought those that bananas from a Baskin Robbins on the way. Okay. To, I bought those from a Baskin Robbins on the way to the game. Nice. No, I didn't know the Baskin Robbins sold bananas either. But well, banana splits. Banana yeah. splits, yeah. Makes not sense. individually though. You That's would not think that they would. No, so but bad. if you go to a Baskin Robbins, you go, "You guys have banana splits, right?" They go, "Yeah." And you go, "Can you sell me what about whole bananas?" <laughs> they go, "We're like, we're gonna I guess to, so. <laughs> we're gonna have to shove ice cream down your throat, son." <laughs> so the what I want to do is head everybody. Alive, I need everybody to take six D. Oh, that's too many. Too many for this time of the night. The heroic trial this night is going to be a skill at rolling dice. Okay. Let's do uh, four. Four d6 each. Okay. Right. Um, take four. Pass them on. Oh, okay. those. These ones. Okay. I'd like to keep it. I'd like to keep it regular. Uh, whoever rolls cool four d6 fastest of anybody. What do you mean fast? So like you, done. You have to like re-roll your. I'm sorry. A six. Each one needs to be a six. Yeah. So you can put yeah. the sixes aside. Oh God. Oh, do you save your sixes? Yeah, you save your sixes. Cool. Do we need more four? Oh, we need yeah, I need, I, need, I need two more. No, no, two just more. shut up. Boy, that gives Ooh, me good man. Okay, so no, you still gotta go. <laughs> whatever style you guys wanna do, wait, you all have to start at the same time. Yeah, let's just start with dice up. on the table. Dice on oh. the table. Dice on the table. Oh, a six. Well, yeah, I win. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't count. You've gotta roll them until you get all sixes. Okay. 
Whoever gets it first Kay. gets to trade any one thing with whoever gets it last. So the fastest and slowest person gets Got to it. trade something. Okay. That includes intangible things. For example, curses. Brian, blindness. You, you were yes, you could transfer your blindness to somebody else, or your killing plants, or uh, or it could be magic items. You could take yeah. Rat Fang from somebody if you wanted to do that. So, Why are you gotta name Rat Fang all yeah, the fucking Because that's the only magic that. item in our game so far. No bullshit, dude. All right. Okay, there's one more. There's there's this light step. All right. I, I actually everybody have, have okay, let's, let's to keep it fair. Everybody hands on your heads. Okay. Uh, this is, that's uh, terrible. I'm gonna uh, like perfect. hell on this. <laughs> All right, everybody ready? We're all good. When I say, when I say go, you're rolling. I hate this. It's six sixes. Ready, set, go. I'll be final judge. Not a single one yet. Shout out. There's oh one. my god. Got one. I've got three. I've, I've got, got. I I've really got have three. three. Oh. Two. I got it. Okay. Oh. Who's, okay. Everybody else, keep going. Slowest person. Cook I just need one more! I just need one as well! Why is it? There! Yeah, done! <laughs> oh my god, accurate and oh, oh. fawns. Oh. You hit so many fours in a row! <laughs> Tom is rolling fives like a beast! Oh. Oh. oh! Tommy! Take, 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 take. <laughs> The gods of the cosmos speak uh, for a moment. Everything drops away. You are no longer in a dungeon. You are floating in a really black scared. void. You, yeah, that was a, it, it, Chancho, and you, Mac Mumbles, see each other against just a black backdrop, just silhouetted in little pools of light. Chancho, you can tr get the claim stone or trade. <laughs> yes, trade anything with Mac Mumbles that you want. If there's nothing you want from what, him, what you got, honey? If there's nothing you want to take from him, that's voice. Yes, yes, that's fine. Or if you were to go, full of his ass. if you were to go, I got healing potions. I got a gem. I got. Uh, I got a plot point. I got a. See, plot, point. plot points you are could, just you could take uh, a plot point. That's why they're no, no longer carrying over that. Is. Yeah, after, to, after tonight, uh, the ones you guys have. The, the problem is, I, I have two. Yeah, I will let mind. you hang on to the ones you have given you guys already. That I didn't have that caveat about. I'll, I'll burn them next session. How's that? That, that works for me. Because I just don't want to burn them at 11.15. Uh, yeah, no, I hear you. Also, there's not a lot of plot in this dungeon. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Mm. If there's nothing you want to take, that's fine. And I'll simply strike him down with a horrible curse. Oh. Or a curse. A randomly generated curse, similar to how Does we Does he have one gold? Mm -hmm. y you know what I'd like to trade? Oh. Yeah. You know what I'd like to impart upon him? Yeah. Oh, you want to give him something you've got. Yeah. Well, they're swapping something, right? Yeah. So You're what? So he's Matt still Cook's get, still giving. You something still would up. have to get He'll something. Be low. <laughs> <laughs> For an episode. That'd be great. That would be so much fun. <laughs> He'd be so good. <laughs> he hmm. should have got it. Man with a plan reference. Yeah. Um. um Natural. Uh, I'd like to have. I'd like to trade my being startled by cats. cats. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fair game. To for, Mac. for a guy who's fucked up on drugs all the time, that seems pretty fair. Uh, that does seem totally fair. It sounds great. And I'll take um, all of his hit points. What does great. that mean? That means he's dead, and I'm way stronger. <laughs> oh. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> he's permanently dead forever. <laughs> and you, you essentially suck his soul from his body. Just, oh. so when, when cats walk under oh, the rain. Cats, he's so scared. He has like a dead body seizure, like Rigo Mortis moves or something. Oh god, what a what, uh, a weekend at Burton. Why? You don't have to take anything if you don't want. You don't have to worry about it. If you don't, no, I'll just something. hit him with a disease or a curse or something. No, he can no, no, I'll take, I literally have no idea what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> yeah, that, that, It still what says do we're you level mean? four. <laughs> this is all you sane and <laughs> normal. Yeah. This is what every D&D &D player works <laughs> with, right? I'd, I'd, I'd Wait, like. Hold that up. I gotta get a photo of your fucking sheet. And then on the back in blue, it says calm emotions. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is his own mantra. <laughs> calm when he's emotions. getting picked on. All right, by all right, all right. Yeah. What do you want? Are, are you taking anything from this? I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna share his yeah. friendship with Tipsy. So much beer on this one. Yeah. You have yeah. equal claim to that. Tipsy? That's yeah. <laughs> 
Wow. Okay. Okay. As a, uh, as a, uh, <sighs> oh, I honestly, I think I'm the one that Tipsy should go for. Oh, Tipsy wow. Crazy. You know what I mean? So t not just equal, but Tipsy. We're going to do a little bit. In, in a 50-50 situation, like, she prefers you? No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, keeping the faith, it's like, yeah, she's got You're two at Norton. very different options. Well, she's been going after him for so long. She's yeah. been going after the bad boy. Like Norton movie. Who's an mm -hmm. animal? Ed Norton. And Jack, I, I uh, get along with the animal. I'm just saying I get okay. along with her as well. Tipsy's I Jewish. I get along with her as burning. well as he so does. So you're the work friend that he tells, she tells you not to worry about. She's yeah. always talking about. She's always no, talking about they're, Sean they're, they're No, I'm the one who tells her she can do better. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The gods. Of fate have spoken. And Boom! I you no longer fear. You're no longer startled by cats. Mac, you find yourself inexplicably startled by cats. Mm. The Broadway Tipsy musical. Tipsy is staring at Mac, giant, naked, and just a thought, an alien thought, flits across her elephant mind, going, "Could I do better?" And her eyes just happen to glance Except towards. You Shasha. seen any cats? <laughs> <laughs> Just got like, okay. Woo! Tipsy rolls her eyes, and they just happen to land upon Chancho, whose hair with the bleached tips is looking sun bleached. Cool. Sun bleached yeah. tips. No, no, not trying no. too hard. They just happen They're to be bleached. bleached. <laughs> 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 You're like the least here of hello. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what a right. great game. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? Chinese food makes us sick. <laughs> Whose turn are we on, guys? Aguilar went. I went. Okay, so that puts us on... Zordicus. Zordicus. Oh, my God. What is going on? No, um, no, no, no. Aguilar. Yeah, sorry. Aguilar. Oh, was it not Zort? No, before what? Zort is... She's still yours. Root for Aguilar. I, 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 love, no, that you, I love that you are taking so much time to... Chancho. You're up. Am I up? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna kill that priestess. Ooh, 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 we have to get past the construct, which ooh, baby, I love you. may be in your command. Yeah. It wasn't, yeah. When, it wasn't when I went past. No, I just got it. Yeah. You just got this orb, and you feel thrown with power. I'm gonna walk up to the. I'm gonna walk up into the field of the construct, and then I'm gonna wow. use my free action to disengage. Okay. And I, so I'm gonna walk up and be like, ha ha, and then like step, turn, pivot, and get out of that. <laughs> and then as I do that, I'm gonna whirl around with the fancy word you said, moulin a. With the moulin a, <laughs> and I'm gonna go after that nasty snake woman. I like it. You skirt. You, you, you exit. You pivot. Uh, oh, there's a crit, baby. Oh, that that's a crit, baby. Oh, that's a crit, baby. Oh, that's a crit, baby. It's a crit. It's a crit on the follow. It's a crit on the sneak attack. So she doesn't even see me coming. She's just like, what? And then it's like right across her throat. Shabang. Right? Cheers. So, cheers, cheers, cheers. Then I'm going to... I'm going to use one of my advantages to re-roll my, um, my inspirations, whatever it is. Yeah, sorry. Your inspirations, yep. I'm gonna use inspiration to give myself advantage on Rathbang. Ooh. And that's for 22. That's a hit. Great. And so that's for uh, 13 damage from Rathbang. And then the sneak attack, we've got 10. Mm. And all the dice roll twice, right? All the dice, all the roll, dice roll twice. twice. I'm gonna do a reroll from my friend Brian. Ah, uh, Brian, is that from you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. And I'm glad I did. It's for 11. Yeah. 21. Woo. Okay, we're talking about some. Damage. All right. So you got a crit card. Ooh, oh, crit card, forget. baby. Don't forget. And don't forget nice, that there, crit card. This, this actually ties into what you're doing. So I like it. Yes, yes, yes. The priestess, the priestess is bloodied. Crit card. It's from uh, Rebecca Stormcrow, aka at Rabid X. Oh. Uh, yes. Uh, Roofers' rats seem to multiply, swarming onto your target and devouring their legs. But what I like is you're using Rat Fang, which is kind of like a rat controlling sword. Yeah, anyway. yeah. Like legs. a like a tuning fork, and it's like it strikes and it like 
lets out this like call and the other rats are like yeah blood and they go for it shark in the water oh my god dude i'm taking everyone's special thing (laughs) (laughs) like your rats are under my command you can kill plants now something really boring that i do (laughs) yeah (laughs) no you can you can hold it (laughs) okay well it's it's no legs but a snake like tail so it's worked it's (laughs) no (laughs) so you're saying he's done it no, I think that worked. The snakes swarm over the priestess who slithers Rats. backwards. Rats. Rats. Yeah. Thank you. Slithers backwards towards, probably, I guess, towards the, the flame. Ha! Ha! Uh, rats, she's, she's bloody. This, this, your attacks have rent scales off of her body. Blood flowing freely. Zorkus. Palms are sweaty. Bug by Mac. Knees mm-hmm. weak. <laughs> Mom's bloody. Yeah. Um... So Zorticus, well again, Austin. So did the, so what did the Austin gets to go. Yeah. So Austin's the, bloody. So Austin what did the rats do? Freak. Did they no. do damage? Sure. Did the rats do they damage? They just take off the legs apparently. So maybe it's like a Wow, so if it was a human, that would be insane. Yeah. Okay. But so. since it's a snake, there's only like kind of one leg, so it's way <laughs> worse. Sorry. I kind Bless of agree you. with you actually. I think it would be worse. So yeah, swarmed with snakes or swarmed with rats. What? <laughs> really quick, Bastion Phil says Chaunch and Avril would totally match on Tinder, and I can only assume it's Av- Avril Levine. Right? Yeah, yeah, skater boy. Uh huh. Avril is the famous character from Oh. Uh, uh, oh, well, oh, very oh, in. Yeah. Yeah, very Either very one. Chaunch has got a lot of options. Which yeah, is awesome. he's, but only Avril's. Yeah, so surprisingly it, enough. I think it's truly awful. So essentially the rats are, are starting to devour the snake alive in a horrible way. Yes. In yeah. a truly horrible way. Yes. <laughs> staggering back, staggering, slithering, faltering backwards yes. towards the It's flame. like a rat swarm. Like a D6 or something damaged ongoing until it like gets rid of it. Okay. Agreed. Uh, how about a D12? I feel like he was doing worse. Yeah, D12 yeah. sounds great. Okay. He, he's... He knows what. One. That was a seven, motherfucker. That was a seven. Huh? You, yeah, that was a seven. You said one. Oh, no, you passed that test. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just dead. leveled up. <laughs> you leveled, you leveled up. up. Your what per- happened? Plot <laughs> point. Plot point. You leveled up. <laughs> yeah, Can we use a, that? Give me a plot point. You have, you a have plot one. Point. I burned two plot points leveling up. <laughs> okay. Wait, I just leveled up? No, no, no. I'm just fucking with you. You didn't level up. Seven points of damage. Okay, guys, we gotta get. Come on, come on. let's do it. Zordicus, Austin lunges in. Go ahead and roll attack roll for me if you would. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a uh, fourteen on the dice. That's a miss. I, I, uh, oh, attacking. Yeah, sorry, it's a miss. Austin is frenzied out of out of his mind. Can Austin do anything of healing wise, or can mm-hmm. I? Austin's just a, a offensive. I mean, you could pull. Austin could retreat. No. But Austin does not have that command. Austin is attacking to the death. Yeah, baby. Zordicus, what do you do? Uh, Austin's Z- blood is getting all over the walls. Uh, Zordicus also, I'll say, is bloody. Bloody. Um, but Zordicus is going to take his like little dagger, and he's just going to very softly just go, and it's going to freeze up, and he's mm. going to point it right at the priestess, mm-hmm. and he's going to go, he's going to reroll that. Ooh, that is a reroll. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's going to hit for 19. No, I'm sorry, Ooh, 20. 20? Okay, this is a lot of damage. <laughs> this is adding up. Well, no, he's like, that's a 20. Oh, to hit. Okay, that's, yeah, that's a hit. Okay. Sorry. And then he's going to do 11 ice damage. No, oh, my dicey's. Golf ball. Okay, so oh, the yeah. ice dagger shoots out. It hits the priestess in an unarmored spot. It hurts badly. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, so the ice pierces in with Brosman. I wish, I wish. Mm-hmm. And what did you guys think of the Matador? I didn't get to see it. Oh, I love it. I loved yeah, it. Yeah, I liked that movie. Uh, and then it explodes. Didn't do as well as it should. So oh. cold again hits, potentially hits the construct, the priestess, and that little flame thing. And mm-hmm. that takes some cold effect. I love to tell you this. It's immune to cold. All of them? No, 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 just the construct. 
The construct, yeah. but not the priestess. Uh, uh, the priestess takes full damage. And that's, it's, it, it's a... Well, it's no, the priestess has to do now a dex save on ooh, this, ooh, of 17. Natural 20. Passes. Whoa. Whoa. That was legit. Uh, well, well, well. <laughs> Can't yeah. force me to re-roll it. Zordicus, anything yep. else, or is it Mac's turn? Uh, let's go with Mac. Mac, the priestess is on the ropes. It is pushed Wait, back. Been she ropes. has been pushed back right to the, right to the lip of the uh, the dragon fire forge. The construct. Mm-hmm. Rufer seems possibly to have under control. We'll see on your turn. Rufer's going next. What would you do? It may be under my control. <laughs> Please don't kill it. Yeah, but it may not be. Who knows? It may not be, but it might. I like don't kill the priestess. Eyes. No, you can kill the priestess. I don't care about her. Yeah. She doesn't have an orb. You do look over at uh, uh, Tipsy, who seems kind of checked out, just looking at Chancho. And then, like, you oh, oh, oh. looks back quickly. I did already. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> did you have drugs? It's so good. <laughs> okay. Fine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you're giant, you're naked, your power seems to be expanding exponentially. At least in yeah. Your mind. Oh, sorry. So I grew in between the time that I w- w- before. Possibly. What do you mean, possibly? You know. Your perspective is warped. Yeah, but your perspective is the god perspective, right? And I know. Oh, you don't. Oh, so but you're you saying wouldn't I don't because know. you're. I'm all far, crazy. It, what you see is that from your perspective, everyone's just ants to you right now. Like you're looking down at your feet, and your feet are 100 feet below you. Great. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go for, I, listen, in this roided out state, I'm gonna go for another headbutt. Against the priestess? Or yeah. against, okay. So you come stomping your way in. Mm-hmm. The last thing you headbutted was that construct. It's gonna get an attack opportunity on you if you just push your way past it. Oh, the construct, oh. It I, will, just so you know. It depends on what kind of mindset you're in. Are you in a kind of mindset where you're just not going to... You well, it's attacking my gold, right? It is attacking your gold. Oh, fuck I that. Gold. Fuck you don't it. care about gold. Who gives a fuck? It's your AC, by the way. I think that's a hit anyway. That's fine. 19. Okay. Okay. Um, Mac is going to go... You lose another 20 points or 20 gold pieces. Oh, well, okay. All right. <laughs> Twenty. <laughs> That'll mean something yeah. to you yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> You'll look at that and be like, yep. Look at the yeah. diary of this a madman. Right? Yeah. They might as well say laces out, Dan. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's a cut. The penultimate <laughs> movie psycho. Oh, what, a, what a transphobic <laughs> movie. Oh. <laughs> Oh God! I'm, I'm a good guy normally. I'm just uh, horrible at D and D. Just how so much, you know. How much gold well, you've only great. been playing for like seven years now. <laughs> There's no way to go. No, Tom's doing good. Yeah. How many? How much gold do you have on? He you wrote right minus now? ten. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wrote minus twenty because it's minus twenty. How much gold do you have? Oh, now? Yeah, at this moment. I don't know. <laughs> you, you've got enough because we picked up those. Uh, He's got royalty checks every and day. Emeralds and stuff, <laughs> and those do. are worth like fifty. Yeah, yeah there was a check that You're was golden. misorted that was for just a good chunk that of money. Snake. Just headbutt it, fine. Great. It doesn't matter. You probably have nothing. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't feel any. Let's pain. assume I have nothing. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you, you but rents are peering across your body. As you, Great. You're torn apart by the curse. Doesn't matter. You stride forward and headbutt this thing on the lip of the pussy. <laughs> on the dragon fire on the show. dragon fire forge okay <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and it's a one it's a natural one. Crit fail uh, crit fail <laughs> crit fail oh, cheers to cheers cheers, cheers. cheers. To the the it's on fire it was nice while mac lasted <laughs> <laughs> mac goes wait a minute wait a minute I mean, you guys wanted to gub back anyway. Takes a couple step <laughs> backwards, yeah. goes tipsy. Look at this. Watch this. Yeah. Hold Head my down. beer. <laughs> Tipsy's trunk you reaches out, gold. grabs your beer. No, I do have gold. Yeah, you got plenty of gold. Yeah, I got plenty of gold. Good. You charge 
forward to do a headbutt to this person and just miss the priestess and charge right into that flame. Maybe. Let's see. Do we have a crit fail? I feel like I could, yeah, it's I'll, like a I'll football spear. Like okay. the dangerous thing you're not supposed to do where you hit head on with your helmet. Yeah. Yes. Crunches your yeah. neck and like paralyzes you for the rest of your life. I think that sounds good. I think Mac real, real dangerous. strikes in just a terrible way. You're, they're crunching your vertebrae and Mac goes down hard. Great. Unconscious. Great. Even as you send the priestess reeling backwards into the flame. But Mac <laughs> is down. What do we have? Let's so see. from Space Seeker 19. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in, in a very rat themed <laughs> night, uh, vermin speak. Roof rat bites you. Disease. Every round until the next long rest, your PC, your player character, speaks in a different accent. Yeah. Oh. If you wow. fail to change accents or re reuse an accent, everybody drinks. So the snakes, the, the rats, sorry, that are devouring the snake, yes. swarm onto you. Uh, yeah, so what? how about this? this? I don't want to just do this without your input, but <clears throat> if you want to, I will let you turn this critical fail into you and the priestess plunge together into the Dragonfire Forge. Well, yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> And you're, you see your massive, beefy friend plunge over the lip into the forge with the priestess. Let's do this! <laughs> what are you? Look out! Ah! Flames go up. She's consumed. The flame engulfs you, taking you to zero hit points, and you die. Okay. It is burning away at your mass, your muscle mass, so you don't D die immediately. Did Tom just die? No, yeah. he's ready to go. That was it. That was. Isn't he giant? Can he actually head. fall through there? Yeah. yeah no, he can't because he said so. So you plunge. Mac forward. also rode away like years ago. I know. <laughs> Mac plunges over the edge. Uh, roofer. It would come around to your turn. What would you do as you see Mac plunge into the flame? And it just like engulfs both of them, <laughs> like black silhouettes engulfed in this green flame as they plunge into it. And you can kind of uh, see the silhouettes in there, but they're just, it's just like. So I look at the uh, construct. I say, well, why don't you get him out already? OK, so yeah, uh, <laughs> I guess you control it. Give you me, have to go down there and pull him out. Don't a, let him burn. Give me a d20 roll. This is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and burn inspiration on it. I'll take that. This is going to be. I'm going to use a plot point. Animal handling. Oh. I'm going to use a plot point. To say that Roofer, with uh, somewhere in his lineage, has had a little bit more uh, connection with the arcane sure. and stuff that could help with controlling summoned creatures. Yeah, you flash back to that other guy who used to roof with you who would summon creatures to roof things. Sure. And you're like, I mean, I, I work with animals anyway, so if it's animal handling, yeah. I'm not too stressed about that. I, I will take that plot point, and I will say, yes, you form an immediate, the bond that you have with this construct is strong enough to make it what? plunge into the flame. Uh, all right, yeah, done. If that works, I mean, is this, I agree with, what, with your background. It's an arcane thing. So it, would I be trained in arcana? With that plot point, you want to be trained in arcana? Yes. Fine. You, can, you gain, you gain, yeah. you, you <laughs> now can it? apply your, um, Whatever My really, mind. really shitty in mod. mod. Yeah, it's your yeah, You pl It plunges in to the flame. I don't even need to. Do you want to? You don't have to do it. No, I don't need to roll if it's going in to pull him you out. You tell me what happens. This ice construct plunges into the flame after it. <laughs> Tipsy is like. <laughs> and then for a moment, it just makes eye contact briefly with Chancho. <laughs> He's like, and then Tipsy's like, you just see it flash across the elephant's face, but like, maybe it was for the best? Ooh. Well. <laughs> So cold. Well, like, and, and, well, just like that, like, and obviously she feels intensely guilty, but like, it saves her this nasty breakup she suddenly saw coming. Yeah. The caretaker. Like, yeah. Yeah. And like, maybe oh, what it, oh, it's like this, guilt. like, it's like, oh no! And then it's like, am I free? Mm. The construct plunges into the forge afterwards. There's not much, there's just a few feet of this forge, but the flame is such that it's like a world of fire in there. It's a portal of flame. And the ice construct plunges in, oh. and it starts to break to pieces. What is this plot point? Is that a plot point? Yeah. Okay. I'll take it. What are you doing? Wait, tell me. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have taken it yet. What are you doing? I'm going to say the ice construct successfully retrieves Mac 
mumbles McGumtree from the Sacred Flame. Oh. But he's not the same as he was when he went in. Yes. Instead, the arcane fire somehow burned away the age and the drug-worn skin. <laughs> and from the flames stumbles a mumbles that is maybe 28 years old tops, but with all of the mileage and knowledge that he's earned and survived somehow against all odds, but now he's born anew. And his name's Gub. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes, reborn from the sacred dragon fire forge. Everybody! Wait, naked? <laughs> you sounded like that all the time. <laughs> naked? 20 years old? 28. 28. Like, at the, what, whatever gnome equivalent. Talk, no, Dylan at his time. abs and like all, all the sagginess and the wrinkles when you look in the mirror and the lost hair so, and the drug ravaged body. Yes. It's gone. So if Mac was a, like, decrepit kind of Bob Dylan. Now he's a young is, Bob Dylan. Is he still Bob Dylan, or is he like he's a heart, still a Mac different Mac Mumbles uh, McGumtree, yeah. but his a body is reborn. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've right. got a lot of questions answered, and, and how much memory do you recall, re, re, Oh, he knows retain. it all, baby. He knows he retains it all. it all, you said that. I maybe. think he retains all that stuff. That, that he knows all the knowledge, he, or all his life he's experiences. He's got a second chance. As you step forward from the flame, basically this, this ice construct pushes Mac out as it dissolves into yeah. the fire and breaks <laughs> out into it. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mac, but his and dick is plunging. <laughs> <clay. laughs> no, the dick, really the old dick, dick is looking. Well, the dick's fine. The balls, gross though, all the balls. <laughs> they hang to his shoes. <laughs> no, Tipsy for a moment, like, uh, like looks oh, at you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she's full no, trunk. No, <laughs> there, there is, there is some, there is that that oh, recognition yeah. of like, whoa, oh my god, and then. Immediately following that is Tipsy's realization that, like, God, I'm so fucking old. Because this is Tipsy who's grown old with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so all of a sudden, Tipsy just, like, flashes into Tipsy's mind of, like, wow. The wrinkles and the age that, like, weigh upon Tipsy. Mm -hmm. And that's the a long time. Elephants do live a long time, but. They do. Maybe not that long. Anyway, it's, it's a complicated mess of emotions. Oh, Burst into Tipsy. And, uh, but Tipsy. Looked at Chancho again, young, youthful, virile Chancho, and the even more virile Mac, and comes towards you. Debatable. And reaches. What's up, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Was that virile Whoa. enough for you? That's virile, baby. Hey. <laughs> and, and you want a bug? You still get to be you. Don't forget you. No, he has to use a different accent every time. Oh, right, 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 right. I told this. That's true. Thank you for remembering that. Guys, what an excellent place to end the session at. Oh. Uh, and to see what happens next. I can't blue. wait. Uh, That'll be next month. There's one more thing I want to do before the end of the session, and that's you guys have access to this Dragonfire floor, Forge. So I want that answer. helm! We can do this narratively. Well, <laughs> so you guys have, as you you took off of this creature's body back. before she was pushed yeah. into the forge. Okay. You can't really. The only thing that's left is the treasure that I want to hand yeah. out. So the treasure is... The Dragonfire Forge has the capacity to create magic items. Hell yeah. And the way it does it is with these pearls of magic. Fruit. Remember Fruit, the little baby group? Yeah. yeah. Come crawling back out of your... Uh, that's... What? Who had Fruit? That was, that's Gary. Gary had Fruit. Gary had Fruit. Fruit stays quiet. Uh, what, you, what you guys understand I I wasn't from, that from the new young Mac and from Fruit is that there are these pearls of magic which accrete throughout the world. Any place where there's intense magic and the friction between magic fields cause certain elements of magic to coalesce. Mm -hmm. The Kraken, this blue orb of magic, seems to be water magic. This smaller one you have that you found at the entryway to this place seems to just be pure, un un unharnessed magic. And then the other one that you got off of the uh, priestess seems to be, seems to relate to wealth or riches. Rare Dragonfire Forges let you take any item you have, any non-magical item, you can place it into the forge, and if you're equal to the, the challenge, you can forge these magical nodes, these magical pearls, into an item and imbue it with magic, essentially creating your own magic item. 
Okay. There is a very difficult skill check for each additional node you want to put into it. If you succeed, great, no problems. If you fail, you still gain that magical power. However, there might be some quirks with it. Cool. There might oh. be some flaws. If you really fail at it, there might be cursed. Should since these things are so intense, should we restrict rerolls on them? Oh yes. What's the point of that? Uh, gosh. what's the point of having? What about can we, can we use our inspiration? Can we limit the rerolls? You know, I will. Uh, let's go by rules as written. I think rerolls you can use. And Thank you, David. Inspiration you can use. Hey, drinking buddy. D twenties. Make me proud. Hey man. I'll Thank have, you. We're gonna drinking buddy. We're gonna support you. Thank you. If you guys are, go home. If you guys are up to it here, <laughs> the things you have to decide is one, what item do you want to put into this forge to uh, make basically. magic? My eyeballs. <laughs> yeah. Mumbo's old balls. How, how does it decide what sort of magic item it is? Hmm. So that. What powers you unlock? There's essentially three different scales. There's minor, medium, and major magic items. You have two medium powers. That's the aquatic power and this this wealth young tea power. Yes, glamour, wealth, and then a minor raw magic power. Grandma Brainer. It's a DC 15 difficulty check for the minor, DC 20 for medium, DC 25 for major. Off of what skill? Whatever skill is most relevant to that power. So for oceans, aquaticness, nature. For magic, is arcana. For wealth and glamour, uh, acrobatics. Well, I was going to use dungeon <laughs> persuasion. I was going to use dungeoneering, but I realized that's not a skill. So I would say performance probably. Hmm. Wealth and glamour. Survival. Now, if let's say you take one and try to do something, can someone roll on your behalf? This is up to you guys. You could you could put all three of these into one item. You could divide all three up to three different items. Divide. Uh, mm. People can collaborate on a single item if they want to. However, if they do so, the item will be bound to more than one person, and will only have its. Mm. <laughs> that is my magic item. No. <laughs> Toots. Toots. <laughs> So this is for something for you guys to think about. And there's not, it's also, <laughs> it's extremely taxing to create a magic item like this. It's a literal physical fight. It's the, the forging of an item is, is raw and intense. And to do so is to risk possibly burning yourself out. If, so if you fail by five points or more, you add a flaw to it, you basically add a quirk. If you fail by 10 points or more on a roll, you add like a serious flaw. And if you fail by 15 points or more, it's cursed. Okay. Isn't it, what's the DC? 15 for its minor. So it's so very hard to curse a minor magic item. Okay. Medium what's is 20, major is 25. Um, it's gotcha. a little bit complicated. So I think well, maybe we save this to as our next session because it's um, pretty fun. Yeah, that's a, that's a yeah. good starting yeah. point. But think about what magic items you guys want. We each get one? I'm, I'm, there's, there's, you have a we total have three. three. And you'll be able to uh, find more of these in game. It seems like fruit has the ability to sniff these out. But cool. We'll have to decide what three. You, you could put all three of them into one magic item if you wanted to make one really powerful magic item. But would that be like, we're going to imbue this short sword? Is you that could. what you mean? Yeah. I'll tell you this much. The aquatic power it will give it some sort of water-based power. The uh, glamour power will give it some sort of wealth glamour-based, yeah, shine-based power. The magic power, since it's a minor, it will give it a plus, make it a plus one magic item. So you could still have a magic sword. Not all magic swords in the fifth edition are plus one magic swords. There are magic swords that just light up on fire, but they're not a plus one to hit. They just do extra fire damage. This will give whatever you imbue that magic into a plus one. Oh, we don't get to change what the... You're saying the it's water. Those are the things that we're going to imbue. Uh, it really depends on... Yeah, I'm going to... There's a little bit of artistry to it. I've, I've looked through the DMG. Okay. I know what powers I'm associating with it, but for you guys, I want there to be a little... There's the uncertainty of harnessing it. It'll a little be flare. Thema it'll yeah. be thematic. All right, and okay. it'll be equivalent to the power level. Cool. All right. All right. Think about that. We want to you think could, on it. We're not. We're not gonna yeah. just dive in. Yeah. I think it's a little late tonight to dive into that. I That's like fair. To, yeah. I, I like agree. To have you guys wait. Yeah. Uh, but these dragon forges are rare. They're very, very rare, and this is a rare chance to be able to do it. The other thing dragon forges can do theoretically is unforge magic items back into their component parts. So theoretically, if you had a magic item that you don't really like. Yeah, you didn't like, or that uh, was uh, was was cursed in some way, or perhaps held the soul of Satan in it. Hmm. Where are you pulling this from, David? You <laughs> could, 
you could theoretically try and do something with it in the forge, but you'd be taking your own life into your hands. Yeah. How close? How close do we get to uh, the level where he gets to do anything to my eyeballs? <laughs> you know. That was 250, I think we put it at. So we did, we got close. Yeah, to like 210. Two something, 200 maybe? Yeah. Next time, sweet boy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so next time. Woo! All right, guys, that was, we'll that was a fun dungeon. I'll put in 50 GG. bucks. What's that? I'll put in 50 bucks right now. To make him do something to his eyeballs? Yeah. Right if now? If it goes, yeah, if it specifically goes to Harvey. Austin, yeah. Harvey, yeah, yeah. Harvey, or Harvey. Harvey, Houston. Yeah, yeah. I'll okay. do it right now. You do a $50 donation? Yeah, yeah. Is that right? Is that the right amount? Yeah. What do we need to get to 250? I think we're at. What do we need to get to 250? We're at 206 or something. We're at 205 right now. All right, I'll do 45, 45 bucks right now. Sweet. I'll take that. <laughs> no. Okay. Holy shit! This guy's got this guy's got cash. 40, 45 bucks right here on the table. All right, that's going. And I'll do it through the app or whatever, so it goes right to uh, hands. What is it? Hands.org. Hands.org. Hands. Yeah. All hands. But look, I've got hands, it. I'm yeah. good for it. Yep. And that goes to a good cause. Okay, so that All means right. what so, that triggers is, as you guys probably so see that. So, Aguilar goes. I think my eyes are getting worse. Does anyone know what to? Your eyes are getting worse. In fact, what to do with this? Your eyes are going to degrade to the next stage. Yeah. Next game. So Zorgus takes out this this flower and throws it in the flame and let, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but Zorkus now is in a weird, he, he knows that he kills plants. Anytime he touches them, they die. And he's holding the plant. Yeah. So he's got to figure out the way to administer mm -hmm. this medicinal plant. You're paying attention to what I would do, because I, I was going to screw him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Me? No, him. <laughs> Jesus. He's the guy who's going that blind. One. Wake up. <laughs> the one next to Daniel. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Tom, please don't. So Zorkus, so Zorkus so almost has to take it's the plant elements out and just kind of extract. Oh, yeah, that the would proper work. medicine. So it's not that you're killing the plant. So Zorkus goes to work on on the leaves to extract the, I guess, the, the compounds that the you compounds, need. Compounds, yeah, the, the stair or whatever it's called. Sure. The set. The serum. The serum, and he creates almost. He takes like a small. Creates like a salve. Yeah. Okay, so he's he's working away with his, his yeah. herbalism kit, and you see him grinding. Yeah. And, and boiling things. So yeah, he's he's like quickly working, and he's been thinking about it since he got the flower. Yeah. And then, but before he does that, he's like to start to, to start uh, Aguilar, to fart in your eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta let him do it. Yeah. <laughs> how, 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 he's so big. You're, how would he you has to lay that? on the ground. Yeah, so I get under his butt. <laughs> oh my god. Zorgus, just, Zorgus gets over there. You guys are think, looking at this, gazing at this amazing forge of magic. And then he's. Yeah. he's the he's, newborn. He's. Mac. He, he farts on his eyes and he goes, guys, I know. now's your chance. Now's your chance to fart. Fart with Aguilar's eyeball. I don't want to. But think about it. No. Don't miss this chance. Different voice. I refuse. That's a different voice. Uh, and then all of a sudden, like, um, Tipsy's going. Uh, Gary's character comes over and farts several times. <laughs> yeah, Solon's all about. Solon, Solon comes over and really lets out yeah. a series yeah. of intense short Or the farts. secret yeah. thing that Gary keeps intense trying to do and hasn't been able to do in a year. <laughs> yeah. Very percussive. Then he goes, oh, okay, okay, I've had my fun. And he puts the salve out in his eyes, around his eyes. Yeah. And then he gets only close enough for Aguilar to hear. And he goes, you owe me. And then he backs away as it starts to take hold. Great. Yeah, the, you feel this tingle in your skin. It's really deep. And then your eyes water up really, really badly. You can't see anything. Your eyes start to swell shut. And you're like, what did Zordikus do to me? And then and then it starts to clear, and the crud kind of comes away. You almost feel this crud getting teared out of your eyes. Uh -huh. You start to clear it, and then it's clear sight again. And you can see just like you did before. You didn't even realize how bad it got. But now it's so much better. And you can see perfectly your disease is cured. Okay. You seem to owe to Zordikus. All right. So that's up to you. I'm going to get, if, if it's cool with you. No, it's not. If it's cool with you, <laughs> the you owe me. Mm -hmm. Can I give a Aguilar plot point to 
to Zordicus. So where he can like you know how I feel about this. Charm me or do what one one action, like he can cash in his his Omi as he sees. Fit. Okay, so anytime he anytime Zorkus wants to, he can interject of truth, a fact about He has a Agalon. he has a one time okay. whatever it is, run into a fire Perfect. for me, that's, run, a, that's do, between you two. Do a do a thing. If, is that cool with you? So or do you want something different? I'm it's basically fine. a favor you can call in in any yeah, form. You, you yeah. get you it's a it's a I look at it as like Zordicus has one plot point that he can bestow upon Aguilar to yeah to help him help or him. hurt or sure. hurt Aguilar yeah. or what whatever I like that or even I'd say even to the extent where you're like Aguilar your mom is this My ogre mom. <laughs> yeah poor brother yeah that poor would brother. be great yeah <laughs> <laughs> no that's not it okay but yeah. something along those lines sure yeah yeah perfect guys that's that outrageous cool? yeah. okay All right. unless anyone else wants to make a big last minute donation shall we wrap it up for the evening I am a dragon <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and that's it Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for all your Woo! donations. Those are all going to Hurricane Harvey victims. Thank you so much. What a crazy night. Crazy night. Fun as always. This dungeon is fucking finished. We're going to pick up with yes. some new stuff coming Forging. forward next month. Tune in to watch us. Yeah. First yeah, Thursday of uh, September. No, October. 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 Oh, Maybe we'll get one in September. We'll Maybe. see. Maybe we'll sneak in. Okay. We'll see. If you're not subscribed to the newsletter, subscribe to it. The Adventure, that's on CritJuice.com. That will keep you updated with all the news and give you all, all sorts of, of lore. Or if you guys want to know more about that magic item crafting system, we'll tell you about that in the newsletter. Subscribe to that on CritJuice.com. Follow us on Twitter at CritJuice. Follow Saving Throw at Saving Throw Show. For all the great shows, we're yes. back tomorrow night with the Wild West themed Deadlands show. Oh, and they wow. dress up in costumes and there's backdrops. It's great. Uh, if you guys are in Texas or anywhere near there, I hope you're keeping safe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you to all of our fans. We had a great time tonight. Anything else, guys? Uh, ju just uh, lots of love to Harvey yeah. and love and support and prayer yeah. towards them. Yeah. Yeah, good vibes. 100%, guys. We have you in our hearts. We have you in our minds. And we're going to send some money your way, too. So please stay safe and, and stay healthy. Help yeah. each other. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. 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 Bye.